me. These are the correct. Oh, uh, so the other one. Is that yours? Not on you. Uh, I've got all that on the computer. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'd like to uh, call this special meeting the Anthony County Commercial Court of Order. We didn't have a preacher. Normally, I guess we're fortunate to have more than Steve here. Usually it's just Steve and us. <laughs> so, welcome. Uh, anyway, Kenneth, you want to leave a little prayer? Let's kind of start this meeting off right now. Father, we come and want to come with thanksgiving in our heart. For we realize that all things belong to you and all power of heaven and earth is in your hand. We pray for these commissioners and the jurors as we go through this budget that we may, with a sincere heart, consider every member of the county. Consider every department in the county. And consider the peoples of this county. Asking you to bless us. Give us wisdom and knowledge. These and other blessings we ask our son in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Please join us in pledge of the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Join us in pledge of the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas one state, under God, one and individual. Thank you all. Well, again, the purpose of this meeting this afternoon is uh, we've got a twofold. It's a budget preview to present to you all the budget that, that I've, with the assistance of the auditor, put together as a, what I have to file on Monday as a the judge's proposed budget. And the second issue is to make sure that we have the road and bridge numbers in there that, in the way that y'all want them in there. Um, so if, if you want, we've got, there have been some changes. Y'all may have a couple of different forms in front of you. We'll get through it. Uh, the tax rates changed a couple times in the last 24 hours. Um, so just bear with us. I think we've got it, the right numbers out there now. Um, Eddie hopes, yeah. and for Eddie's sake, I hope he's right. <laughs> but he doesn't really care. You know, he's a short time over here. Yeah. yeah, well, blame it on Janice or somebody. <laughs> so, again, we'll we'll uh, just kind of give you a short tour of what we have. You all have a copy of it in front of you. Um, and for those out in the audience, I've got it. It's up on the both screens. If, you can't see the front one that's too far away, spin around through the back or vice versa. It might be easier for you to, for you to see them. The numbers may be show up better. These letters need numbers on this page. Closer oh. you are. <laughs> yeah. Just say, hey, look at the letter. Yeah. Print, print there. Figure out where I'm at. And I'm going to look at my screen, so if they don't match the number I'll call out that's on your page, well, they should be. Same, did you not get that update? I did, but, but if, if you do view and, and minimum and uh, up here, view and instead of zoom, right here, right here mm -hmm. and say, uh, and here, 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 so yeah, move closer to the front and you can see get, all the columns in there. Uh, yeah, but it's just hard for them to see. But I understand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it changed it that much. Yeah, it, but it got maybe, yeah, it got all of them in this yeah. room. Yeah. Uh, Y'all can, oops, let me get back up to the top here. Um, and all these numbers, again, are, are on, our, on our revenues at the top of the first page. Uh, those are projected revenues based on history, and again, what the appraise, what came from the uh, certified appraisal rolls from the from the appraisal district, um, you know, property taxes are you know the look at it looking like it, we're going to have about a two hundred eighty six thousand dollar increase in our in our property taxes, and the increase we're seeing it looks like part of it or a lot of it is. There's a difference in the over 65 free, and, and I don't know if maybe 
I hate to think people have passed away, <laughs> or maybe some of them have moved off and, and or sold their house and moved into an assisted living. And once they sell that property to someone under 65, it goes back on the tax roll. So uh, we've got an increase there. Um, you know, some there's some de decreases, of course, in our interest income we're projecting. Um, if you look down uh, at the bottom, we're looking at uh, the, the difference of 24 million two hundred and twenty thousand nine hundred and two dollars in our total total projected requested projected revenue saying it's the same as our proposed it's not I mean it is what it is we're only going to bring in so much money mm -hmm. uh, so you know what we're requesting what we're proposing is going to be the same looks like it's about $382,000 increase uh, <coughs> over last year <clears throat> then you look in, look down at the next line on line 65. I don't know if you the number, I don't think the line number is wrong here, but underneath transfers in, we've transferred 370. Line yes, right underneath the, the, the total revenues under transfers in, gotcha. transfer from fund balance. And this is, this is, we've had some requests uh, from uh, the law enforcement agencies around been you know, the sheriff's office, the constable's office, uh, the city. The city's having a lot of problems with their, their communication down south in the county. So we're looking at upgrading the communication system. And phase one will be towers and infrastructure. One uh, of those towers is going to go on precinct four property in Zavala. We're looking at the Zavala site. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're talking about three towers. Two new one, new sites, and then the dive off site. The total cost about seven hundred fifty-four thousand dollars. So, so we're looking at maybe trying to split that with the city. Uh, so our portion would be three hundred seventy-one thousand five thirty-six. That being a one-time expense, it's not recurring for those towers and infrastructure. That <coughs> we feel comfortable taking that out of the fund balance and then recoup that over the next few years and build that back, put that back in there. And there's also the opportunity to get some funding, maybe through some foundations, or we're also visiting with the other, the other entities, trying to maybe uh, get them to pitch in uh, some of this cost, so we can offset some of that, maybe in the future. So, again, uh, looking at again a total of about the difference between. Last year's and this year's about seven hundred and fifty three thousand dollars. You go down and see the other transfers into the mental health fund, Castle Bork in the juvenile services. So I keep I'm not I don't have a page on here, so I just want to make sure y'all I keep up with y'all, y'all keep up with us. And then down under the total below the total receipts, we'll start with with the underneath the transfers out, the total for the cost of health, mental health, cast board and the juvenile services will go into the different departments with county commissioners and here's we start talking about our Expenses, of course, there's the only change in the, in the to the county commissioners is the compensation benefits is longevity. In all cases, I mean, it's longevity in our our workers' comp rate have changed, have increased. Right. So the two of yeah. those have been from all of these. That's the only change we've done in the salaries. Right. That is just the longevity. Right. The, the With the cost associated. Yeah. yeah. So really, that's, I mean, it's, in a lot of these departments, it's going to be the only change if you move down to. County Clerk's Office, you can see where their total request over last year is $103 less than even with the increase. They reduced the uh, $3,000 into their Bureau of Vital Statistics training and form supplement. They reduced their rental lease equipment by $2,000. Uh, capital outlay has gone away, so there's really a net reduction in, in that department of $103. 
go down to my office again. It's just uh, some of that. It's going to be the longevity, but that's not all longevity. Uh, uh, for Tia, some of Tia's 911 salary being moved. <coughs> No other changes. Uh, County Court of Law won, and they they submitted no budget, so we're assuming that they're happy with the, their current budget. Uh, so the only increase in there is the longevity and those costs associated with workers' comp. Court of Law two, did you put these changes in? No, no I okay, there. We have. We did get a request today. Yeah, from County Court of Law 2, he said he was going through his desk and came across the <laughs> the budget <laughs> sheets. <clears throat> um, and if you look at under Department 11, at the fourth line down, indigent attorney, CPS, there's, he has two indigent attorney uh, line items in his. One is for his criminal and plain civil and then one is for the CPA. He does all the CPS cases in his court. Uh, he's asking for an increase from 120 to $130,000 in the CPS engine attorney fees. And keep in mind that we do get some reimbursement from the state for indigent attorney fees. Uh, last year I think it was about 42 or 45,000 out of the 600,000 we spent. Um, but CPS does not count in that reimbursement, so they don't. That does not go towards our right now towards our uh, now. We're trying to get that changed in the session, the special session, but we'll see how that goes. What was he requesting? Ten thousand. Ten thousand increase from one twenty to one thirty. But if you look in two thousand fifteen, he spent one hundred twenty five thousand four thirty four, and last year in two thousand sixteen, one hundred fifty one five sixty five, and we budgeted one hundred twenty. You know, thinking, you know, no one would have a new judge in there and thinking he was trying to maybe whittle down and put some of that CPS back with the travel judge and that just hadn't happened. So um, he's wanting to increase it to, to 100 from 120 to 130. So we can put that in as, we, as I go. Did you put it in your guy? My whole calculator. I was not doing that. No. And then his visiting reporter, he's wanting to. Leave that the same at six thousand. Uh, when you come down to training personnel, he wants he's asking for an additional five hundred, from thirty five hundred to four thousand in there. And in trial transcripts, he's asking for an increase from eight thousand to ten thousand. And you know those. You, there's no way of knowing. Uh, you know, if you look back in 2014 on your budget, those are after 14, 15, and 16 are actual numbers for the year. That's what actually was spent for the year. If you look at 14, they spent $226 on trial transcripts. 15, they spent 9,712, and then last year it was 7,001. So we budgeted 8,000 this year. I don't. You know, again, just just <coughs> those. There's a couple of these things in these court systems that are just kind of crapshoots. You know, you throw it up against the wall, hope it sticks. But you know, you just never know. So he's requesting ten thousand based on what he's experiencing, I guess, today. You know, this year. Do we know what his current use is right now? We can check. Seven thousand seven hundred seventy-six dollars. Yeah, so this is for that's year to date. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, you know, this year he's he's gonna wipe that out. So, yeah. again, he, we're still working with Judge Underwood trying to get some of the CPS cases moved and, and get some more funding from them. So, if we can do that, that would certainly help. And everything else, the only increase he he requested. So 
but basically it's about a $12,000 increase over the current year's budget. But like I said, you know, 10,000 of that's for uh, engine attorneys. For, so very minimal request for you know, other other areas. County Attorney's Office again didn't request any additional increase in their budget. The only thing would increase was the longevity workers' comp. Uh, that's Department 12, Department 15, which is the County Auditor's Office. You know, they always want more. And more. <laughs> <laughs> um, again, $1,100 for their. They got a surplus in that department. Let's cut that. That's right, they do. <laughs> Uh, and then training, you know, we're going to have a new auditor this year, so that increase is probably not unreasonable. Uh, of course, you know, the old auditor, we sent him to training, and look what that's done for us. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a $200 increase in the vehicle for the little pool vehicle they have out here. It's just with the, auto, that's what the insurance came back in. So really, you know, about $2,300 and $1,500 of that is, or 1700 is for the insurance for the car and then training for the new new appointed official in that department. Uh, department 17, County Treasurer's Office, you know, they reduced their contract service. So really, there was a net reduction in, in their budget, $2,400. Yeah. <laughs> There's really, and just to give you all kind of an overview, there's really just a, a few departments, you know, the three or four departments really ask for any kind of increase. One here you'll see being um, the tax assessor's office, uh, the election office, sheriff's office, and IT. And, and as we get to those four, we'll explain what they're looking at. Uh, of course, there's been some, there were some couple of reductions in in the uh, tax assessor, you know, in their their training and their release equipment and their uh, printing and forms, um, but they are asking for about twenty-two thousand two hundred and fifty dollars uh, in their repair and maintenance for the facilities, the drive-through window that, that we utilize for people to drive up and get their license plates or pay their tax or whatever. It's the equipment's fall apart and it's hard to work. They're saying they can't maintain it much the, the, those, what do you call those air vent things or whatever. Those guys, brinks or whatever, can't they can't continue to maintain those so they want to upgrade those and get those fixed where they work properly in the push drawer there. And then out front where they have the glass partitions, they want to put some kind of frames to make them a little more secure and a little more sturdy like they did in that back room. So. Uh, and judge if you go to that bottom, yeah. if you go to the last page, some of it's on there and some of it kind of goes off. You can see some of the descriptions of the, of the requested increases. And if you look under Department 019, the repair maintenance facility talked about replacing the drive through equipment for 11700 the drive-through drawer at 4800 and then redo the, the lobby windows for security for 57, five, 5750 You know, that's things that you can't come up to the drive-through and use it. It's useless and it sure is a benefit to let people get in and out of here quicker. So that's, there's the increase there and, and again, they've They've offset that twenty-two thousand five hundred by reducing, you know, some of the line, other line items and trying to make up. They made up a little bit more than half of that uh, request increase. And then the next department twenty, council precinct one, uh, is there right where they need to be? And he's satisfied. The only increase there is the is the uh, longevity. Same way with precinct two didn't submit a. A budget did or did not did not just like court yes. one did not yes so we assume that he's happy with it and we punched in the same numbers as current year except for the longevity uh, <coughs> precinct three 
Senator, you can see under there the difference in there. You've got two lines over on the right, requested and proposed. And the requested is what was sent in by the elected official or department head, and the proposed is what I proposed for the budget based on revenues. So you can see under under precinct three, uh, he's asked for a three thousand dollar increase in travel from ten thousand to thirteen thousand. $50 increase in dues and publications, uh, and that's really the only inc the only increase really is the is the travel. Um, again, if you know when we we increase this travel back when gasoline went to almost four dollars a gallon, and when the gas went down to two dollars a gallon, now we didn't take that away from them. So basically, they're still they're getting more money for what they're driving for a mile than than what they did back when the gas was $4 a gallon. So, uh, I've reduced that back down to $10 or $10,000. Uh, I would say he does patrol. Well, I'm sure he does. He, he does patrol. Mm -hmm. well, and on then the, on all cases with the constables, they do turn. They turn in yes, a sir. monthly mileage yes, report, sir. and we reimburse them yes, based sir. on mileage up to the amount of the budget. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Um. And if y'all kind of want to just make some notes as we go, when we get to the end, we can go back. And if y'all want to address anything, we can we can do it. Just kind of give y'all you know, let y'all see what all what I proposed in there. Um, and then precinct four, same thing. He's asked for a two thousand dollar increase in in fuel from ten to twelve thousand. He drove as well. <laughs> and then, and that's the only increase there. Department twenty four, the department twenty five, county jail. Um, again, you can look on the. Back sheet they asked for to replace an air conditioner for fifty thousand dollars, the transport vehicle for thirty seven thousand, and then to go ahead and finish the other half of the jail doors that we didn't do from the jail inspection. So the total capital outlay is one hundred twenty seven thousand, which is about thirty seven thousand dollars over over. Um, Last year's capital outlay. The other increase is seventy-one hundred dollars for the inmate medical care. I think they're bidding that out now, so that that may be subject to change. And the balance of that is um, the compensation benefits is going to be the longevity, workers' comp, in the jail, inmate medical. Yes, yeah, that's <coughs> that was. Uh, we knew that coming in that, that wasn't yeah. going to be an option. We had to fix those those other eight doors in there, the electronic doors. I would question a fifty thousand dollar air conditioner though. I mean, I <laughs> I don't know how many units that is. Yeah, I don't. I, yeah, yeah. There must be more than one. It must be. It may be. A, a, I honestly don't know how many units they have in the jail, but they have. Several. Got, I think there's 12 or 13 or so units on the roof over there at the jail that they and we put in you know 40 or 60 thousand dollars for maintenance to replace the ones in the other facilities but we always we've always budgeted the ones that the jail will be replaced by the jail individual yeah, instead of through the maintenance department so we can kind of keep a better better cost on what the jail is in case the state ever decides to reimburse us for us running the state's jail facility. I don't know what kind of money we're talking about. <laughs> yeah. I think that's going to happen any time now. So. <laughs> don't hold you worried. Yeah. 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 
Where's that? On the page. Six and fourteen. Page fourteen. Yeah, right there. The the second under number O twenty five. To the left, you see Department O twenty five. Yes, sir. Can't yeah. Look right. look over to the right. Is AC dash fifty thousand. Oh, yeah. See, Department O twenty five. You look yes, at the capital that length. You know, fifty thousand, thirty seven, and forty. That's the three re request. And the sliding doors are forty thousand dollars. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's that's uh, those electronic controls on those doors. It's a deal. Are pretty expensive. And that's really the only that is you know, outside of the outside of the uh, inmate medical care increase they had in there I, i'm not sure if this is the time but is there uh is there another way or a better way to just take the air conditioning for instance mm -hmm. to do a one-time a one-time deal like we did with radio time instead of budgeting no i mean the problem is if you you, you know, as they go out, it's cheaper to replace one or two here and there than replace 13. <coughs> You're saying putting in a, 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 just a separate line item for all air conditions, not no, necessarily no. in the budget, no. not necessarily in the department? Like we know this one bad or whatever it is for 50,000. Instead of putting it in the budget for the whole year, is there is there not a better way to just take it like like we did radio tire the one time fund balance deal or whatever see i'm not so sure that they, that we have one that's bad i think they've had some oh, that are like nine or ten years old okay. and so they want to go ahead and replace it okay. before it does go out All right, so like say every so many years you get so much lifespan on one they say well let's go ahead and replace it before it does go out okay yeah. i thought this was one they no 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 they're just, they're just one okay. if one going out they're going to replace it now yeah. they're not going to wait till next yeah. year yeah. I got you. Yeah. Okay. And if they don't replace those ACs this year for some reason, well, then it doesn't get spent if we don't let them. If we don't let them. <laughs> yeah. Took a wire right down on that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so then we come down to Department 30, which is the Sheriff's Office. Uh, we're going to see some. I would see some changes here. Uh, if you'll turn to that back page 14 and 14, we'll just go down, start with compensation and benefits. Um, you can see where they've requested for an increase of $445,211. And what they're requesting for that is five deputies, one detective. Let me go down to mine so I can spread it because it's not open on this page here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, five deputies, one detective. That's three hundred forty-three thousand seven hundred thirty-eight dollars. They're also asking for additional certification pay, certificate pay. Uh, right now, our certificate pay is nine hundred for an intermediate, eighteen hundred for an advanced, and twenty-seven hundred for masters and they're wanting to take it to two thousand for an intermediate, three thousand for an advanced, and I think forty five hundred for a masters that's on their sheet. Did yeah. you give them a copy yes. of that? Is that on here? No, it's in your if you look at if you pull this packet the sheriff's office. Sorry. It'll have some handwritten numbers on the phone. Oh okay. yeah. yeah. See that? Okay, now if you turn it over, there's some it's, there's some request. And if you'll turn over, counting the cover sheet, one, two, three, four, to this page here, it says the law enforcement telecommunicator, current rate and repressive rate. I didn't have any page it <laughs> you look at the same thing? I'm wrong with that. You gave them this, didn't you? Isn't that in there? Isn't that in there back in the city? Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. Make sure you get the shares on my dude. Yeah. Sure. Okay, and I turn over about the fourth page, this page right here. Now, dude. Yeah, yeah. Y'all get that page? Yeah. That's, 
Okay. That's where they're smacked. Yeah, there we go. That's that's uh, it amounts to. Um, so they're asking to more than double. Yeah. Yeah, it's eighty about eighty eight thousand dollars worth of increase for certificate pay they're at. Like I said, you can see right there, here's the current rates, nine hundred for an intermediate, eighteen for an advanced, twenty seven for a master. They want to go to two thousand for an intermediate, three thousand for an advanced, and forty five hundred for a, a master's. Mm -hmm. And then same thing increase the dispatchers from nine hundred to fourteen hundred, eighteen hundred to twenty three hundred, and twenty seven hundred to thirty two hundred. And then the jails, 900 to 14, 18 to 23, and 27 to 32. Mm -hmm. And the telecommunicator dispatcher. Yes. And I have not, and you can see in their budget. You didn't add that to I have not included that certificate pay. And what I did was went to a proposed yeah, let's see, get this back page out here again. Proposed three deputies. Um, well, two deputies and a, and a CID person, so three total positions. Uh, instead of in that's in the personnel, and then when you come down to, we've also. Uh, I've also decreased their fuel, gasoline, and oil from 185 to 130. Uh, this is based on, you know, in 2016 they spent 95,000 on fuel, and they're on the line now to spend about 90,000. I think is what I, we looked at the other day. Um, so we took 55,000 out. We're still leaving them 130. If they only spend 90 or 95, they're still you know 25. Thirty-five thousand dollars. That in case there's a spike in fuel cost, middle of the year we can cover that. About a hundred thousand, Judge. Yeah, about a hundred thousand on track for the year. Yeah. yeah. There was ninety-five six last year, and right at a hundred this year. <coughs> Still giving them a cushion of about thirty thousand um, dollars. And then the insurance, they you know, they were. 2000 we changed that to a thousand that's just based on what the actual cost is uh, and they asked for a three thousand dollar increase in employee evaluations i didn't I, i've left that in there what employee evaluations that's pre-employment testing and you know drug testing and psychologicals and all that and then uh, when you get to capital outlay they've requested an additional four hundred twenty-seven thousand nine hundred dollars, and what they're asking for, they're asking to replace six patrol vehicles for the high mileage. You can see that on their request. Um, additional four vehicles, uh, an air conditioner for ten thousand, uh, the cop sink annual payment for fifty-one thousand. They wanted four additional cop sink computers. To go into four additional vehicles, four rifles, six portable radios, and the additional cops and glasses in amount of eighty four hundred. And what I propose since we since the, you know they were again, you understand we made the decision last year instead of allowing and replacing six vehicles every other year, that we were gonna replace four vehicles every year That's for the mileage. That's increasing uh, too. So and, and so I didn't know if they were confused or not, because I can't I'm not talking to him, but I don't know if you know. Maybe he's wanting. He's asking for six to replace the high mileage, and I wasn't sure if he wanted six new cars for the six positions he's asking for and replacing four for the high mileage, or but evidently not. So anyway, what I what I propose in my budget was replace the four vehicles, which we told him we would do every year, uh, and since we reduced the amount of deputies in in, in half, and he only wanted four new vehicles. I, I proposed two vehicles, um, the air conditioner thing needing, the, the cop sink annual payment which has to be made. Um, instead of uh, four cop sink computers, two, two rifles, three portable radios, uh, and all the cop sink glasses to go along with that. So basically what I've done is I've, I've budgeted in here for half of what his request was. Uh, if you look at
his requested increase is going to be about well, we can get to the end talking about tax increases but no his his, his request and increase is eight hundred and eighty three thousand one hundred eleven dollars over last year's budget uh, and my proposed increase is three hundred and forty three three oh six um, we want to discuss that now or wait we, that's up to y'all <laughs> well right off the bat I, I I feel like we've got the vehicles covered, don't we? You know, by going to the four new ones every year. Mm -hmm. Well, what he's doing, he's you know, in in you know, when he re he requested six new positions, five patrol and one CID, and he wanted four new cars, which I don't understand because he wants a car for everybody. So if he's got five patrol, if he's requesting five patrol, I would have thought he would request five cars and he wanted for the CID but again he only requested four cars so I don't know what his plans are with the, with the personnel so when we cut the personnel in half I cut the cars in half the, the equipment in half um, and that's basically where we're at um, how many cars do we have now I, I don't know <laughs> I don't have that 47 there's enough everyone that can take one home with them I think there's 47 I could be there's a bunch. Maybe the point of seven. No, that's right. And if you look up here under um, investigative aids, you'll see where he requested a three thousand dollar increase from seventeen to twenty thousand. And we look across here and see where I proposed fifty thousand. That's not wrong. Um, <laughs> what that is is and again that's that can change we're just not sure where that's going that's that's the notification i got and all the sheriffs got from the department of public safety stating that the legislature has instructed them to collect 11 over about 11 and a half million dollars in in uh, lab fees from yeah. jurisdiction yeah. so they're going to start charging all of the law enforcement agencies or basically what they're going to do is they're going to charge whoever requests a lab analysis from their one of their DPS labs that that agency is going to have to pay for that the cost of that analysis. That's not a fun uh, mandate. So again, it is because the lab in, in talking with our prosecutors and with Carrie Kirby the other day, primarily um, when they send a misdemeanor amount of, of controlled substance, marijuana, whatever, off to the lab or a DWI sample. Uh, the lab will hang on to it and then they will contact the prosecutor send them a letter saying I need something from your office stating that you're going to prosecute this case in court before we'll analyze this so if he writes back and says yes we're going to court well then guess who's requesting the analysis we are Angelina County so whether regardless of whether DPS stops that person and files them for DWI our county attorney's office is requesting that lab analysis done and so they're going to bill us for it so That's not right. the state's filing the case and the state's charging us for the case that they filed. So go figure. Uh, so anyway, that you know, I had we have have no way of knowing. I have no way of knowing how many how many cases. I don't know. If there's any way to know that. What, what that was mentioned today, but also was mentioned that something is going to increase the cost of the jail. Over there. I don't. I didn't exactly. That's know not that. to 2020. Yeah. That's the Sandra Bland yeah. Act. Okay. Yeah, that's that's in the jail commission has until. September of 2018 to to finalize the plan and get it out and all the jails have until September of 2020 to have it be implemented in place. So that's, you know, although there will be a cost, it won't be to us this next year. But yes, that's that's a cost that's unfunded. Everything is coming by. So, but again, you know, it's just an, an estimate, you know, based on what the costs are for those you know if it's a if it's a dna sample it's it's 550 dollars if it's a an alcohol uh, or a drug test it's 75 dollars if it's quantitative it's another 75 and they always have to have the quantification so it's 150 dollars every time um, so you know it's there's just no there's no way i mean you can't i guess you could have somebody go back and pull every single case that's been filed 
in the last year or two and kind of get an average of how many DWIs, how many sexual assaults, how many drug possession, how many delivery, you know, inclusive of all those and try to figure out how many we had and just assess one of these values to it to determine exactly. I don't know that you could ever do that. But what I'm getting from other other counties is they're predict, predicting anywhere between 30 and 35,000 for mid-sized counties in you know, our size. Um, you know, Harris County, they got tired of DPS's lab a couple of years and they have their own, they have a private lab up there now that does theirs. But, you know, we've had a couple of sheriffs that have said, okay, that's fine, we're gonna pay for that, but now I'm gonna send a bill to the state for every inmate that's booked into my jail because they're booked in on a state charge. I'm gonna send them an invoice for every meal they have every day, the blankets they use, the health care that they, they incur. So I don't know who we send that. I mean, I'd be happy to do that. I just don't know who we send the bill to and how we expect to collect it if they don't pay it. The lab can say, you owe us money, and if you don't pay us, we're not analyzing any more of your samples. Well, I mean, they've got you, us. But yeah, if you don't pay us, we're going to turn your privilege a little bit. Well, but we're turning the black <laughs> loose in our community. You know, that's, <laughs> well, we care to They don't care. care. <laughs> <laughs> Let's care to Austin. <laughs> well, that was, that was threatened a few years ago with William Wayne Justice. We put him in his front yard. We yeah. never did that. <laughs> so, in, in other words, you can see, you know, his request was for an increase in compensation mission of 445000 that would include the certificate pay. What I'm proposing is 184,706, which is the uh, increase in, in longevity pay and workers' comp and those fees associated with that. Um, and that's well, that's also for three deputies. And I don't care whether he uses. You know, I think what I gave him was two. What I proposed was two deputies and one CID instead of five deputies in the CID. Um, you know, that's, again, that's his choice. I, I, you know, to look at the makeup of the department, I have my own ideas. Um, you know, I don't know if we're, if we're concerned about patrol, are we not maybe heavy in CID? You know, if you, if you get more people on the streets and you prevent more crimes is what they're saying, by having more people on the street, we're gonna prevent more crimes and you need less investigators. You know, um, when I worked law enforcement, I was an investigator. I was a patrol officer. I was a narcotics officer. I was other time. Yeah, animal control officer. Animal control. It didn't yeah, matter. Yeah. <laughs> well, and that you know, again, the thing is, uh, anyway, <laughs> I, 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 you know, I, I probably would. It, it's in my own mind. So, and I don't run the sheriff's office. So. But I have run a law enforcement agency, and there's been others here that have been involved in law enforcement. And, and again, I, I don't know that looking at the makeup of the department now, could there be things done different that would make a huge difference now? And yes, there are. I mean, you know, it's again one of the things I recommended was, you know, if you get if you take four deputies and put one on every shift, now you have six on a shift, so you've increased by one. If you take those four deputies and you put a support shift out there for the last four hours of the day shift and the first four hours of the night, so you'll say three o'clock in the afternoon to three in the morning. Now, guess what? You've got nine officers out there on all those shifts, not just sit, you know. So, and I think we can do that with current manpower. But I, um, again, I don't run the sheriff's office, but I do know it's going to be, if you look at the numbers at the bottom here, when I give you these tax rate numbers <laughs> and, and the amount of increase. I can't look at the people out there and say it's what we need to do. Um, you know, it's hard to, you know, and of course I've, you know, I've heard the old, the old Facebook gloom and doom song, song that I put out there, but I hear from people every day and I think y'all hear from people every day. As a matter of fact, I know you have because I've been told, I talked to my commissioner, I told him, <laughs> so I know y'all heard it. And so, you know, uh, you know, there may be people out there, and Don Limber is probably one of the richest people in, in this <laughs> deep east Texas part of the state, and probably can afford a bunch more tax tax raises, and, and I could probably afford them. But the fact of the matter is, that note is are we getting, or, or, or we, as elected officials and department heads, being as effective and efficient with their tax dollars now, uh, before we ask them for more money? You know, so. 
And them very Texans froze. Oh, that's right. You're from Texas. Close to 90. Close to 90. Yeah. <laughs> I think Don Embry is 90. The Texans froze. So, anyway, that's that's a. Uh, well, while we're on the huh? other business. Oh. So that's, but again, my proposed, he asked for six, I proposed three. You see, they're 184,000. That's what uh, the tax he's asked. He, pardon? Yeah, that's we haven't got that. there yet. We're going to get there at the bottom. But he's asked for six. I proposed three. Uh, that's just to meet in the middle, and then we'll, uh, the court will make that decision. Um, he's asked for basically 10 cars, you know, six new ones, and or six replacement and four new ones. And uh, I've given him the four replacement and two new ones. And then you know, four rifles and four this and four that, and we've given him two for the patrol guy because I don't know if the CID guy needs you know, a rifle. He can call one of the patrol guys, bring his rifle over there, and let him use it. <laughs> yes, sir. I, I can't redo mine because I need some new dump folks. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't done yours yet. We'll get, that in a we'll get that here in a minute. So that's where we're at with Sheriff's Office. Again, you can see his requested amount is 883000 over last year. My proposed is 343000 over last year. That's basically manpower and, and stuff, half of what he's requested. And again, that's, I mean, and that's tough to do. We'll get to the bottom and we'll see where we can back out. Before we um, leave the Sheriff, okay. the telephone stopping. We didn't touch on that. Is I that have not. they want to be compensated for using the telephone? Yeah, um, but only the only they they have the, they have the county telephones and the county's paying their telephone bill. And, oh, they're wanting an increase. Well, no, they're not wanting. They're want instead of the they want to leave this amount in the budget. I think, but what they want to do is have us instead of just paying the telephone bill, give them a thousand dollars. A year, yeah, year? Angel yeah. yeah, for just the sheriff, chief deputy, captain, and lieutenant of patrol, uh, CID, is that right? Sheriff, chief deputy, patrol captain, CID, lieutenant, jail warden, and assistant jail warden. Yeah. yeah, two in the jail, but I wouldn't, you know, that's, so. Uh, I use my own cell phone. Again. I pay my own cell phone. I think they use a county cell phone. Yeah, they Those yeah. individuals. I cut out yeah. two cell phones at yeah. the person. And the reason for that, I mean, if we're paying for their phone, there's no cost to them. Why? I mean, what? They need what why would we want to just pay them money? To, there's no difference because if they're thinking the public they information, yeah, if they're thinking public they're information right. act, their private phones subject to it also if they conduct county business on it. So, you know, that's I, mean, I don't know. Uh, I, mean, I don't know what I know. I, when I was in law enforcement, we had a law enforcement rate for cell phones, yes. which was cheaper than what everybody else could get it for. Uh, but my city paid for that. I didn't pay for it. And I had my own and really didn't use it. I used the city one for the city, and that was it. And usually most of the time it was in a bag, and that's back then when we had the bag phones. Um, and unless, unless they still got a, a lot cheaper rate where they could make money off of this, I don't know. But again, their phone was furnished, um, and I, you know, I didn't change that line item. Yeah. So, I mean, that's going to be up to the court as whether we want to write them a check or we want to just let it continue to, to, uh, you know, I can't ever, I can't, I haven't been able to find out, and I've tried for 11 years, how many phones we are paying for over there. You know, um, we got. 28 thousand dollars in their in their budget they're requesting 30 uh, so I, I don't know what their landline phone bill is ever every month not, not not very much most of that a couple hundred dollars or yeah their phone service service long distance calls <laughs> is what their phone service through at and I, I think so yeah I'm not, I'm not cell phone service you mean? yeah yeah I'm assuming it's still through at and I think we can find out. Well, I think we, AT&T won't talk to us. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I talked to the sheriff. It's his account. 
So, uh, we just won't pay that bill. Then they'll call you. <laughs> Somebody will. Yeah, it is AT and T. Yeah. How much is AT and T bill? Uh, eight hundred dollars each month. Mm -hmm. That's same. Mm -hmm. Eighteen hundred a month. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. Eight hundred a month. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's, 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 that's less. That's less than ten thousand. Ten thousand dollars a year. And then they then they. So the twenty-eight thousand. What's about? And then uh, on their landline, which is really a <coughs> long distance call. Right. That's, a, that's right. the difference. Everything else is the same. And that's about a hundred twenty-five a month more. Hey, twelve. Somebody what is a professional standards officer? We don't know. <laughs> huh? It's somebody that makes more than a sergeant but less than a lieutenant. And does? I don't know. Oh. I think he, I think, makes sure that they do, they get their mandatory training hours a year. I've never had, I didn't have a professional standards officer. Well, I, mean, I, I guess, I guess when I was a chief, I was a professional standards officer. My, my, my chief was a professional Yeah, so I said, I guess when I was a chief, I was a professional. When, uh -huh. I, when I was a patrolman and a sergeant, my chief was, a, he made sure I was, my professional standards were up to par. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but I think really, and I don't know, I think really what they do, Rick, you may know, I think they, <clears throat> they again, make sure that their deputies have all their training hours they have to have, uh, if they have to have any vaccination, I don't know. I can't answer that. So maybe they, um, maybe they. Compliance position. Yeah, they maybe. Just like ensure that, just like yeah. compliance position. Yeah. Maybe they look at policies and, and, of course, you know, the sheriff's one is going to be the one that says, yeah, this is my policy. So I, I don't know. I can't, I, you know, I've asked that question and you kind of get, well, there's certain things that we have to do that are mandated that we have to keep up with to keep our licenses and, and just an interesting note in that line item but last year the sheriff department spent less than eighteen thousand dollars in where in that line item utility telephone oh yeah so we just said yeah, ninety six hundred and then about twelve hundred for the landline yep Tell me what you want to do, Jim. He's requesting thirty thousand. Post twenty nine. There's no on. justification for thirty thousand. No, I don't see no reason to increase it at all on that. Well, here's the thing. Look at fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Fourteen has been seventy seven hundred. Fifteen, eighty nine hundred. <laughs> I don't know what in the world happened in 16 anywhere from 8,900 to 17,945. Is some of their pumps saying they used oh, yeah. that? Well, that's, uh, your yeah, air, that's, that's what their air cards. Yeah. Yeah. They've got to have the air cards. Yeah. Which continues. Yeah, yeah which is a which is an annual. I think that may be that $179, much? $120 or so a month. Well, that's about, I think those air cards are about $10 a month, don't they? Yeah, it's a little more than that. And we got how many, how many, 26 cars, how many cars we have with cop, how many cop sync computers we have in the car? 26. 26, so that's at $10, 260. 200 should be about 260 a month for the air cards for those. And I think that if you look in their request, I think that was part of their. Oh, I'm sorry. The, eight, Please look the, the cop sink is the, is the eight hundred dollars a month. Okay, cop sink is eight hundred a month. Okay, what is their Does cell phone? Does that come out of the, out of the utility telephone? Yes, yes. Yeah, because it's a, it goes through it goes through AT and T. It's in it like a, you know. So that explains the difference in fifteen and sixteen. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So in 17, I mean, we still weigh in his budget in 17, we went to 28 pounds. So I don't see us paying cell phone bills in 17. That'll hide out. I don't know where it is. I don't know where it's at. Stockland travel allowance, 
$1,276 for seed stand in 2007. Didn't have one in 16. Didn't have one for most of 16. What's that? Stop. Oh. We had one in 15, correct? Yes, sir. Thousand mm forty-two. -hmm. I don't know unless that air card is included with their cell phone because all we're paying AT&T is 797 so that may include the air cards in with their uh, cell phone bill. That's all that cell phone? All of it? Mm -hmm. Another thing we, that we paying this year is an AT&T bill and then the consolidated Communications. We just get the front page. We don't know what that's there. We normally those bills say cops say. That's all that's on there. So I don't know. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Well, he looks at it, we can go down to yeah. election. Should be the next department, Department 32. Um, there's a, a request for contract services in the amount of $6,000, and that was to hire a, or bring on a temporary part time person just during the elections times where they've got to get all the machines up, they've got to get everything programmed, and all they do over there. Uh, and there was an increase in request of $500 in dues and publications. $15,000 request in election expenses, and then a $500 request in telephone. And again, I don't, you know, sure there may be a lot of long distance calls that are being made for people to call in about their voters' cards or whatever. So I've got this in here. Let's go. There it is. Connie Brown sent a letter said originally she asked for a full time person realized that during the odd number of years they don't need one so she's asking um, again it looks like Four hundred hours at fifteen dollars an hour that they use for early voting and election day. What about that twenty-nine hour restriction? Are we? Are this is contract. This be contract. Contract. Yeah, this wouldn't be one of our employees. No yeah. And again, I, you know, I didn't think that you know, you know. It, it may have been a little different when Midget was the election administrator because she had all her staff over there that she could have help her, you know, during the slow times. And we got three people up there, and, and maybe they can, maybe they can't. But um, yeah, they, I didn't think that was unreasonable to try to get somebody who is important, as important as the elections are. Yes. We need to make sure that those go smooth and <coughs> don't have any hiccups. Uh, and again, 15,000 election expenses next year is a big election. As you can see, 93 and 14, 69, and 127 and 16. This year is down to 110. Of course, we got the constitutional amendment election probably coming up here. Next year will be another big election, so she wanted to increase that to 25. So overall, total increase to 22,000. Election. Then you go down to public health and welfare. Again, this is. You know, this is our indigent health care, which, you know, we're required by law. Um, you can see it's, it's, I mean, you just, this is one of the things you never know. Looking, 14 was 508, basically, and 215 it was 501,000. 16 is a million, 121, and we budgeted 890 this year. I don't know if we'll make that or not. Um, that's just one of those things. It depends on how many people need health care that are indigent and come back and prove. We have to. You know, by statute, we, you know, we have to fund thirty thousand dollars per individual for any individual that can, can determine we can determine an indigent here in, in residents of Angelina County, and that may be a hundred, and it may be a thousand. You just don't know. Well, they come in every day, and, and then our ambulance contract falls under that. Um, <clears throat> but again, there was no increased request in that department. Uh, move down to emergency management. Uh, training, uh, request additional thousand dollars in training. We've got uh, our parks directors now going to assist with emergency management. We need some, we need some that's one of those things again, until you need them, we don't need them. You know? <laughs> uh, but when you need them, you're glad when, when the hurricanes, you know, coming across Jasper County or Pope County, Tyler County, headed this way, we certainly need. We're glad we got them out there making sure the resources are ready to go and, and, and to help support people when it gets past us. Um, and again, the compensation benefits, that's just we're moving uh, some of the parks, allocating it into 911, we can into uh, emergency management. We can reclaim some of that back on the MPG, <coughs> MPG grant from the state. So we have to, you know, that's. We can get some of that back. Yeah. Now. 
and that's reflected in the revenues up top. So that's basically, you see, uh, the $21,321, 20500 that is the salary and benefits, and that's, again, we, we send, we have to send reports monthly to the state. We got out of court early. Um, really not much change. County extension. Uh, they didn't, didn't submit one, but based on my recommendation, my proposed budget shows a $3,000 decrease in utilities, electricity, when you look back three years, 7,400, 6,300, 6,300, you know, they, we've, we've budgeted 10,000 and there's no sense to continue to budget 10,000 when, when, you know, the last, I mean, there's $3 difference in the last two years. And it's, they're running pretty consistent. Uh, collection department, no change. Uh, district judges. Really, um, overall, $49 increase to their budget. Just moving some things around. District clerk's office, same thing. They didn't submit a budget. So they, they're happy with what they have. Which we can say the same for the county clerk. Uh, <laughs> district attorney's office can't go into hers too bad. Can district attorney's office, you know, again reduction in in their compensation benefits because we, you know, we got a new district attorney in there. And Art was here for since the '80s, so he had a pretty little reduction there. Uh, of course, his she he got a thousand fifty three capital outlay. I don't know if you it out, just didn't. Didn't just put that number in there. Yeah. Didn't have an explanation. Okay, you just put it in. It, it may be computers that may that may come out of there. Depending on if that's he did, of course. I, and I'll just advise you: there's a few of these elected officials that have stopped me around the county in the last 60 days, wanting to know the possibility of getting an additional personnel. He's one of them. And I've, yeah, and I've the, 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 again told them that odds are slim to none. That you know, the, again, you know, we've got so many. They were, such a big request from one area that, you know, <laughs> if we do that, part of that, we're certainly not going to be able to afford to help, nobody help, help others, you know. And, and uh, it's hard to, and I understand, you know, you, you, you know, as more cases are filed, you know, it's more more demand on you. They handle all the CPS cases. They've got one full time, one uh, prosecutor that's assigned full time to CPS. And, you know, it's uh, something that gets shorthanded, and, and misdemeanor court's no different. You know, uh, probably six or eight cases to one, uh, but they move faster. So, all right. So that's basically not much. The attorney is told three hundred thirty dollars. Yeah, difference. Of, well, there's a yeah. Yeah, different. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Even I did nine dollars. And next, uh, data processing, uh, 113659 dollars increase. What we're seeing is, again, our equipment's getting old, and what we've t historically done is we wait until we either max out capacity or things break, and then we go have to find a bunch of money to fix things. So, what the IT department is 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 looking at doing is replacing 25 percent of our computers every year so every four years the computers will be because turned over uh, they've got a 38 thousand dollar increase in capital is for the licensing um, increase in in the, uh, replacing a server and all the licensing for the new computers and uh, the, the server so um, you know the servers again of course you know, will last longer than what the computers do but we just need the increase increase capacity, but um, every four years we will we'll turn over all the computers in the county and keep those updated with new licenses and new software. So, and again, if we don't have that in our day and age, we well, shut down. When our, when our email crashes, it takes two weeks to yeah, get back get, up. Get back up. 
and when you can't e-file and the state says you e-file things and the computers crash. The city of Lufkin is on a backup system over that they use for the service. Is that something, an option that we can look at? You know, I don't really. Well, know. we're supposed to be redundant here and have that capability, and that's something that I'm trying to figure out why it's not working. Um, but again, that what they'll do is they'll claim when it's our fault it goes down. Yeah. Well, we didn't. You know, well, get, this is the thing though. You left when it's their fault it goes down. All they do is is call over and shoot at them. You know, send the backup. So once they get backup, they've got all the stuff right. backup within hours. So they don't miss it. Weeks for us. Yeah. They're paying for a service. Yeah. Yeah. They are paying for a service. Just his salary. Yeah. Because I'll be honest with you, it's hard for us. Yeah. I can only imagine what other people do. It's hard for us to operate without email. I know. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah. I don't know. All right. The courthouse maintenance. The requested difference was 934 miles, 4,066 difference. Um, electricity, you know, we took 13,000 out of that. Again, you know, 94, 95, 89. You know, we're on track to spend 90 one or two this year so um, I didn't see any need to leave that up there 13,000 in there so. um, that's 12,000 coming off of that gas and oil the same thing uh, you know uh, 14 and then gone to 10 7 and they're on track to do about I think 9,000 10,000 this year so. uh, and then we go into part of 75 which is our our general fund central appraisal to increase central appraisal districts you know, budget went up twenty three thousand um, dollars reduction in animal control left by two thousand contract services went down five thousand uh, the contribution to the health district went up seventeen thousand um, we put a new uh, item in there this year uh, waste station expenses five thousand, and that's just again if it's not spent, it stays in the fund. Um, but we've had some failures at the some of the parking areas this year we're having to replace. It's just better to be able to identify those costs. And then the utilities. And then the yeah, utilities, and then the contingency. It's from one eighty to two hundred. That's just basically what's. Yeah, any life around there. Um, DPS, we've, we've had three thousand dollars in there, for then two hundred, six hundred, three hundred. So we just reduce that by a thousand. And then again, here's that communications upgrade where you saw we transferred that in from fund balance up top. Here's where it's coming back out. The communication upgrade through in seventy one five thirty six. Just a piece, $800 on increase in training, $500 in office supplies, just a piece precinct two, no increase. When I say no increase, that's other than, like I said, the longevity and the, you know, in the, in the workers' comp, a few hundred dollars, uh, all the way through JP4. And that's it. So we get down to the bottom line here. When you look at total, the requested expenditures comes to twenty-five million eight thirty-nine three seventy-two, which is a shortage of one million six hundred eighteen thousand four hundred seventy dollars. My proposed is a revenue expenditure of revenues of one million seventy thousand one sixty-five. Last year we transferred eight hundred twenty-eight thousand in from fund balance to balance the budget. Um, if we did that same thing this year, we'd still be based on requested from the department seven hundred ninety thousand dollars short. On my proposed, be two hundred forty thousand dollars. So basically, the difference is right now our proposed effective our proposed our our, our effective tax rate 
for next year is going to be 0.458826 or 0.458845.8 cents. Uh, and in order to, of course, my sheet is a one cent tax increase to increase the tax by one cent would generate 358,000. So if we had to generate 101.618 million dollars, that means we would have to go up to about 4.75 cents, or well, four point four and a half cents would generate a million six hundred eleven thousand. So we'd be about seven thousand dollars. We'd have to find somewhere. So let's say four and a half cents. So you add that to our effective rate of 4588. That means our current adopted tax rate this year would be. 0.5038, so 50 between 50 and a quarter and 15 and a half cents from 4618. Um, to do the proposed, it take a, a tax increase of 101.076, be 1.074, be three cents. So we'd save a penny and a half. Um, Again, above the effective rate, which would take us to you know, our tax rate would go to almost 49 cents, 4.4888. And how many dollars? Which, you if, you, take if, you, if you look at current rate of 4.4618 to the 503 initiative, we'd have to raise our tax rate over this year 4.2 cents to go to the requested, the requested rate of. Uh, Amount of, of twenty five million eight thirty nine. If we go to the proposed rate, we'd have to raise it two point seven cents. So, um, or again, you know, we could we could continue to transfer money into uh, there from fund balance, uh, and in the past we've been able to do that. To balance the budget, and at the end of the year, we either had an increase in sales tax, or with the reduction in the amount that the departments didn't spend that they budgeted, we've never had to really actually take that out of fund balance. Does that make sense? Yeah. We we brought it down to budget it up to eight hundred thousand last year. We brought it down to budget it, and with an increase in sales tax, and then a reduction in the amount expended from each department's budget that falls back in we've never had to dip into it I don't think that's going to be the case this year uh, I don't I don't and we won't know because we're still only halfway through the year but uh, I think we're probably going to end up having to use some of that that we transferred in this year not a whole lot uh, but we will for the first time since I think I've been here we'll have to dip some into it so I'm concerned about continuing to do that um, but just to stay where we're at, where we're at right now, is that correct? Uh, we'll no. Have to dip into it. Yeah. Either way, yeah. Oh, you mean you mean current year budget? Yeah. This year. Yeah. If we yeah. kept our budgets like they are this year for next year. Oh no! I mean, no increase. No increase in budget. Well, if we didn't do, I don't know that we've. Well, last, okay. Then you, if you take this year's revenues, that agree? Write that, write that number down. It'd be two. Oh, Twenty-four two twenty nine oh two, right? Uh, I mean, it's going to be hard to really figure. We can kind of give you an estimate, yeah. But, no. And take it won't be the same because of the longevity. I mean, that's going to affect different departments. So salary the, 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 with the longevity and the change in the workers' comp, every department is going to have an increase. Yeah, a few hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. But, but uh, roughly here, let me see. But I mean, if we if we base well, look at here. Look at your sheet that shows. Where we would be using the effective tax rate of four five eight eight and see what uh, what would that be what we'd be. Let me do this. Try this. If we if we use the two thousand expenses, if the expenses stayed right. the same except for the except for the longevity.
basically where you're at now our tax rate is 0.4618. If we go with the effective rate based on certified appraisals this year, we'll go to 0.4518. So it'll drop down about three hundredths of a cent from you know from four four five eight four six one eight to four five eight eight. To, to, to generate the same revenues as we did last year, but we right. got a few more expenses with right. just the longevity. Yeah. Us, using last year's expenditures and this year's revenue, uh, we would need four hundred and forty-five thousand six hundred and seventy-five dollars. Mm -hmm. And last year uh, from, we needed from fund bills. Yeah, and last year we needed eight hundred right. and twenty-eight thousand. Now that won't be exact because again the longevity, longevity right. and so forth. But, uh, but, but we would need less money because our values you know, right. are different this year our based on the revenues are up, values because the revenues are up. Say 500000 But we need half of what we needed last year to balance the budget. Right. Just to remain the same service, same level. But, yeah. And you could take that out of fund balance instead of raising taxes. Yeah, like we have, like we historically, like we've done over the last. Like I said, the last nine years, we basically, we went down three cents one year in 2009. 10, we came up a penny and a half. 11, we came up a penny and a half back where we were in 2009. And since then, it's been the effective rate to generate the same revenue we haven't raised, raised the taxes. So that's why since 2009 to 17, which is nine budget years, the budget, the tax rate has actually changed six, ten thousandths of a cent. Because that's, that's the effective rate. I mean, that's what it takes to generate that same revenue you know, if 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 your if your values of your property goes down, then your effective rate goes up. You have to charge more. You get more tax rate to generate that same revenue. If your values go up, then your yeah. tax rate goes down, which is kind of what happened this year. And I think, you know, and I say a lot of it offset because of the, and we'll see a, we'll see a difference next year because of the Lufkin Industries. You know, they're tearing the foundry down this year and going, and so that will be totally wiped off the value, right. even though it's an empty building. There's still value. Right. But when it's when you pick it up and haul it off and it's not there any longer, there is no value. So uh, we're still going to see some some reduction in commercial values. And guess what? When that happens, when the commercial goes down, it rolls over to property value, personal property. You know, and so you know, it's, there's, it's, so when that happens, and, and then we come in and say we need more. Not only are the property owners do we have a loan tax is going up because the commercial value is going down now we're putting more on top of it. Um, can we look at it another way? You can. If we look at I have your glasses. <laughs> <laughs> everything you've proposed all the way through, mm -hmm. even the jail, at that point, where would, would we be on raising taxes? Well, that's what I'm saying. Oh, my proposal is 2.7 cents. It's if we don't transfer any in from fund balance. Can, can you give me a dollar figure that yeah, we'd right have here. to transfer in? Oh, well, I mean, yeah, a million seventy, one sixty-five. If you look at the now, bottom, I'm, if you look I'm at I'm excluding the sheriff now. Oh, well, I don't know. Everything, about, uh, everything down, including the jail, but not the sheriff. Oh, well, then we just visit what we can do. With well, the we, if you go, if you take any of that million, million, oh seven oh one six five, and take out the sheriff's increase, which is. 343, 306, 883, 111. Well, he's talking about your proposal. I know. Your proposal. Oh, 343, 306. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. If you take that out, then, because see. Seven. That's a seven. Yeah, yeah it's a, the, the the proposed is a shortage of a million fifty seven sixty five. Got a million seventy one sixty five. Oh I'm, I'm sorry, mine's a million seventy a million one oh seven oh one six five. One six five. Yeah. And when you take out the three forty three three oh three forty three three oh six. Three oh six. Seven hundred twenty-six thousand eight fifty-eight, eight fifty-nine. Seven hundred twenty-six thousand 
859. Which is what we would have to transfer in from fund, fund balance to balance. Last year we transferred in 828. Now, we've already are transferring proposed yeah. the three, the 370. We're already doing the, but I mean, that's, that's, that's we know that's just that's an expense because that's for the communication system. So we could safely cover that by transferring. Well, we'd have to, I mean, basically taxes. we'd be covering, a, we'd be transferring in a million, yes. total, a million, yes. seven, yeah, yeah. Whatever, a million, well, right yeah. at a million yeah. dollars, yeah. a little over a million dollars. Mm -hmm. 770 plus a 371. Yeah. Million one? Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. But again, all things staying equal, we wouldn't use. We would use the 371. That's a given because we're going to do the communications center. But the other 770,000, we just don't know if at the end of the year, you know, we would. If, I mean, it's the thing, that, and that's safety net. Safety net if sales tax, sales tax, bottoms out, or something happens and everybody has to use every penny in their budget and doesn't return anything. You know, sheriff's office is on returns. There's some that return a thousand dollars, some that return a lot, you know, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars. So it all, like I said, we don't use, we haven't had to use any of that five well, or six, seven hundred thousand we've transferred in the past. That's kind of where I'm going with that. You know, he had three hundred thirty thousand dollars budgeted, and if, if we, we or him or whoever moved that money around, then he can still get stuff that he wanted at the same price on a lot of that. You know. Well. Uh, how much did he turn about? 130. Well, yeah, I was counting the jail too. Yeah, the jail, the jail and the. And the well, but the jail, you could transfer that to the sheriff's office. I mean, if he's not. It's 330,000. Well, see, my proposal is 343,000 to give him what I, what I proposed, which is half of what he's asked for. So we can actually give him what he had last year and give him that. It, if we transfer whatever he yeah but you got i mean, I mean the it, thing is a lot of if, those things if all things if they all turn the out yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. well that's the same way i mean that's true with all of our budgets well sure sure yeah but the thing is if you run out of road stuff for hard time road you just don't do more roads if he runs out of stuff for inmate supplies or he still we still got to we got to find those supplies we can't just tell the inmates sorry you're not going to pay for the next three months you know and fuel the same way I mean, there's a lot of things that, that are, that aren't, that you can't just stop well, in some areas. Yeah. Now, again, there are some areas where it's continually every year been left the same because at one time he needed that. That's what I, that's my And point. now they're not, <laughs> but, you know, and I guess we could, we could get, we could get closer and, <laughs> To being right, you know, on the dollar or closer to the dollar, uh, and then have to deal with it if it comes up. You know, if something did go south on us, we, I mean, we have to come back and, and make arrangements to take care of that. Because uh, all we can do is is base this year's proposed numbers on what actual expenditures were for those three years before that, and not on what was budgeted those three years before, but what actually spend it, expend it. I, I think I understand where you're going, Mr. If you look at just the change in the salaries, the additional personnel that he's asking mm -hmm. uh, would would be about three hundred thousand dollars. If what he's asking for, not proposed. He's talking about proposed. He's talking about if we did the proposed and he had a, with he if he turned back in three hundred thousand last oh, year. So giving him the, the, and the, the yeah the, 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 and one thing with that between the sheriff's office and the jail, he would have to take what he turned back from the jail and transfer that to the sheriff's office and give him the three hundred and thirty thousand dollars, and he could take that and reallocate it towards his three hundred forty three that that we're proposing. So he's saying, without us doing anything, he any can actually increase, that. yeah, any increase to the sheriff's office, or, you know, he could he could. Take what he returned from the sheriff's office in jail and do that within his budget. It'd be budget neutral, pretty much, except for about well, from three thirty to three forty three, thirteen or fourteen thousand dollars. But that's cutting it down to the penny. Yeah. I mean, that's you know, that's that's. I mean, I know it's dangerous. That's but exactly. If we can do it without raising taxes. Because this year he may only turn back two hundred thirty thousand, forty thousand dollars. So, you know, if he's if he constantly turns back three hundred thirty thousand every year. 
And then we kind of probably know that he doesn't need 330 on it. But if he turns back 330 this year and 190 next year and the year before was 112, you know, you just, you know. But again, a lot of that is our fault. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you know, this is a budget, folks. And, you know, when you run for office or you apply for a position as a director of an office, it's your responsibility to run that department or that office. And when, when I send out the notice that you need to submit your budget request and you need to be diligent about figuring out what it's going to cost you to run your department and not pat a bunch of stuff thinking, well, and then throughout the year we let them transfer 50000 here from this line item down to here to buy something because, oh, we've got the money and we can get it this year at this price. Um, you know, and, and if we as a, as a governing body held their feet to the fire and said, well, you budgeted it for this. You know, if you didn't need it for this, it shouldn't have been budgeted. We could have put that somewhere where it was needed, not put it in there so that later on during the year you can find something you'd like to have and now you come in here and want to transfer it. You know, so, and I hear it, I hear it, well, the commissioners transfer money all the time. Well, the statute allows commissioners to have a carryover fund. They don't authorize any other department or elected eight office in this county to do that. Uh, and that is because of the price of the cost of y'all's equipment and things like that. And that's why they've done that. Uh, so that as, as y'all can build up money as you go, and then you have money to do that instead of going to the taxpayers all the time. Uh, but as, as a normal department, you know, your responsibility and obligation is to present and, and submit to me a budget request sheet that tells me really what it's, what it's going to take. And I know everybody pads a little bit here and there, but you don't have to pad $90,000 to one line item. I'm not bad at anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, this chair, I think. <laughs> but I mean, that's, I mean, and that's just it in a nutshell. That's, I mean, that's just the way it is. And, and you know, we, and it was difficult when, I'm telling you, when, when I came into office, we had, and the Kansas was here, you know, we had some knockdown drag outs with every every department in here because they were just used to putting what, and nothing ever changed. Well, it didn't need to because they had a bunch of money in there they could move around. Yeah. But we were struggling to take care of anything else. So uh, oh, we started making, I mean, looking at it line item by line item every year and cutting, 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 and and allocating and moving and transferring where things needed to be till we thought we had a pretty good true budget. And then, you know, and the same with the sheriff's office. It's you know, and you can look. He had one hundred seventy nine thousand, one hundred seventy something thousand dollar fuel bill back a couple few years ago. But you know, and, and we had to fund that because that's what the cost of fuel was. And we just never took it away in anticipation. Maybe you never know; it may jump back up. But it's been three years now, and it hadn't. So is it time to reduce it? And I said yes. Yeah. So let's let's take about fifty five thousand out of there because. We're not on track to use but 100,000 this year again, and that's still going to give them a pretty good cushion. So, and I'm, and I'm not picking on the sheriff's office. Y'all don't think that. It's just that's the biggest elephant in the room, and that's where 41%, almost 40% uh, of our general fund budget goes to is, is law enforcement. 41 goes to law enforcement. That counts the constables, but they're a minute part of that when you're talking about over $8 million um, for the sheriff's office and $4 million or so for the jail. So, you know, uh, out of a $25 million budget, you've got $11 million of that going into the jail and the sheriff's office. It's, that's, that's the elephant in the room, and that's, that's where the majority of the funding is. When you talk about 32 departments and one of them getting 41%, you know, it's, uh, or two of them, the sheriff's office and jail. I got, huh? I got an elephant too. I got an elephant. And you're, uh oh. <laughs> what are you reading? I just don't put it on social media. Yeah. And that's it. I mean, again, you know, does the sheriff's office need more people? Probably do. They could probably, could they probably allocate their resources they have now in a, in a more effective manner, in an efficient manner? Probably so. But every law enforcement agency in this country can use more people. There's not a sure. doubt. And, and I guarantee if, if I sent a letter to every sheriff and police chief in the state of Texas, or in the United States for that matter, and said two questions. Do you have enough personnel? No. And are you paid enough? No. The answer to both of those is going to be no. no. 
you can't you can't put enough officers on the street for a department and you can't pay an officer enough money you, you, there's not enough money in the world not what they deserve um, so that being said you do what you can do and, and you don't I mean I can't shut down Amy's office and, and take two or three of her employees to give them more uh, I can't take a, a one, each one a road hand from each one of y'all's y'all's precinct so we can give them four deputies um, because everybody at this county and we've done this over the last 10 years all of our departments are working at bare bones they have to have what they have and nobody's salary is has been increased more than the sheriff's office over the last five years well they had had a raise in 10 years 20 years so start nothing <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, it's uh, that's where we're at. You know, we're looking at right now, depending on what y'all want to do, based on request and proposed. And folks, I'm gonna tell y'all, this isn't easy sitting here trying to, and to, you know when you got requests from almost all the departments out there of something when you see them they don't put it here because they've already asked me and i've yeah, already told know. them it doesn't look good uh you know and they know that um, but it's hard to look at the clerks in the face when i go in their office or the county attorneys when i go in their office uh, your guys when i see them around the streets and yeah. and you know they're saying well and you gave them everything in the world. What do we get? Uh, Absolutely. We're not, we're, not, we're, not as, we're not as important as they are. Well, they are. And, and, and without any department in this county, this county shuts down operations. If yeah. Amy decides, my God, okay, we'll show y'all. Y'all go to the house. And if she tells them to go to the house, guess what? we got to pay them. They got to quit. There's AG's opinion. It says if the, if the elected official shuts their office down, we got to pay them. That's right. They don't have to take vacation, sick time, comp time. That's right. If the elected official tells them to go to the house, so they tell them to go to the house, guess what? You can't get a birth certificate, you can't get a death certificate, you can't file a case, you can't probate a will. Uh, I mean, we're just... Don't process. get no big ideas. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that sounds pretty good. Isn't it? So, I mean, it shuts down county government. That's, so, the sheriff's office, yeah, they're very, very important and very vital operation in this county and the safety of these people. But they're just a part. And, and, and they have to have all these media. other departments for them to work. You need to increase your I, I know I've done that. I've been there. Been over twenty years long. So don't tell me I don't. I don't care about law enforcement. You know, you'd be you'd be crazy to to uh, be against law enforcement. Well, yeah. I know Terry is. He doesn't care about law enforcement. But I've been told. <laughs> but I mean, it's uh, it has nothing to do with this. It, it, and I'm going to tell you, I'm proud of you guys. I'm going to tell you, it's, you know, because I know every time to you, I've seen y'all's blood pressure go up and expect <laughs> y'all go out and go off. But, you know, this isn't personal, folks. This, you know, I've never done a budget yet with any kind of personal feelings involved in it. It's nice. all professional, and it's based on what I'm hearing from the public. And I've never had, Don, you've been to, you've been to a couple of our, Hearing oh, we've yeah. had an increased tax. I fill this courtroom up in nighttime meetings and daytime meetings with people hollering and screaming because we went up with half a cent or a quarter cent on the taxes. I've never had anybody come here say, raise them more. <laughs> How come you're not raising my taxes? You you know, and some of these people. You lower them. They don't say nothing. So some of these people that I've seen on this Facebook, people have showed, look at what they're saying, are exactly the same people that are sat in this courtroom and screaming at us for raising taxes a half a cent. Yeah, exactly. You know, and it didn't matter what it was for. They, we don't want you know. So I'm telling you, it's, you know, you, you've got some people that, that don't mind, and then you've got a lot of, but i tell you what, if they went to the voters right now, it wouldn't, they wouldn't get 51% of the vote raising taxes. I'm telling you, it's not going to happen. I think you'd send it to the voters. Uh, Judge, I, I'm going to tell you, I think you're being awful generous here. That's it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think your proposal is a little generous to me. Well, like I said, Y'all feel free to look at any of this thing. If you got some recommendations or you want to change something, just let me know. We'll punch it in and see how it looks like. Well, again, that's that's why it says Can in I, Chapter 111 that I'll file a proposed budget 
with the clerk's office and I, I don't want to file something that I know y'all are going to be in opposition to. So that's why well, we have this. Your opposition or, or, or. Well, y'all just tell me what y'all are thinking and what you want to change. Okay. And we'll put it in there and see how it looks. But we need to look at me right now. What changes do y'all have in your road and bridge budget? Um, decrease part time decrease in my money period. <laughs> Let me, speaking of that, by the way, Dick, um, Dick uh, Grayson, my part -time here's where I do this. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing to do with roads. Y'all yeah, will notice that your revenue is decreased. It's decreased by the by uh, about half of the federal forest money. Right. We got. Uh, I got the information yesterday that uh, you're welcome. That, yeah. <laughs> that, that the federal that the uh, uh, school rural school money is, yeah. is, is is going away next year. Well, it's gone now. The last money we got from that was in April this year. We, we'll get some money from the PILT program, probably maybe about 10% or so. Uh, but we're hoping they were, I mean, we're still struggling for them to reauthorize. We'll get about half of the PILT and maybe 10% from the SOS if they put it in the budget. But as of yet, they haven't put it in the federal budget. So we, we can project that about 10% and cross our fingers. But. So I have... I had revised the, the revenue to reflect the fact that that's been cut from signific, signif, significantly. And um, sorry, guys, but uh, and I didn't nothing look we can do it, about it. I didn't want to look at it. <laughs> uh, yeah, because uh, so you'll see. So where do you make that up? Yeah. Well, uh, exactly. <laughs> can you afford to see planning? My you got an acre out there. Yeah. All the other revenue is based on, <laughs> as we have in the past, is based on road mileage and that right. calculation that we had. Uh, but uh, that one was uh, a good was, hit. It was a good hit, yes. It cut cut it back about half for each of you guys. Is that why I lost this money here? Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Secure Rural Schools Act. Is, is so, anyway, so, so y'all be aware of that. Uh, the, so I thought that it went, actually went down. Mm -hmm. yeah. Your revenue went down. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Your revenue went down. How do you like that, Mr. Fitz? I don't like it. But you know your what? Revenue, <laughs> your revenue went down. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to make do. Instead of raising people's taxes is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get, I'll get out there with a shovel out there. I won't stay long. You know, and, and Donna, you, you know, that's, that's the fallacy of county government. You know, it's like, when I came into office, Kansas was here, what was barrel oil in 2007? What was it? Yeah, barrel sure. oil. Well, when I first started, we, we could get for nine, it was around six, seven thousand dollars. For a load? For a, for for a load. Tank, for not a barrel. Yeah. Not a barrel, yeah. a tank. Okay. How much is that same tank today? What is it, 13? What is it, Terry? Right at 14. Four, no, 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 I said 14. 14.5? Uh, 14, 14, so six, something nine? Other. We got we got it for seven, so seven it's and double. Eight. So you know, and that's that's the thing is when we don't raise road and bridge, what we do is we raise, try to take care of the unfunded mandates the state puts on us, and every other thing goes towards maybe a little bit. You know, some years like we're not we're not even, we're not even talking about any kind of increase for anybody this year. Mm -hmm. You know, and there's been several years since I've been in Austin, we don't give cost of living increase or any kind of increase, and we've never really had a pay raise. Uh, sheriff's office got a little increase above the cost of living here a couple of years ago, but not substantial. But that's the thing is, we don't have any more money to put back into road and bridge. They just they stay the same and dwindle down every year. And, it's, and I get screamed at every every day in somebody's precinct because they're not these guys aren't fixing my potholes. And I, Talk to them. Have you talked to them? Well, I saw their foreman the other day. Well, talk to them. You know, they're, but they're strapped. And I'm telling them they're doing all they can do. You know, and, and especially when we have a disaster. And I was telling the day when we had that thing here in court. In Greg's case, you know, the roads, and he hadn't got, he's had to fix the road, but he hadn't got his money back yet. And he's only going to get 75%. And may not get the rest of it back because yeah. it's, you know, state and FEMA. But, and it happens in every precinct. So they're trying to do the same amount of roads with less so each year they they get to do less and less maintenance on those roads and less roads get repaired and more people scream and holler so yeah it's hard taking care of it would be hard for us just to give all the money to precinct one road and bridge 
Then nobody else get anything. You know, you know. They so. get that guy all in Whatever, dude. But Donna, <laughs> tough. You tough see to how do. this works? We're the last get. one on the totem pole. Everybody else gets it before we do. And y'all get to make the decision. So we get to make the decision. Well, it's the sacrifice. Well, I'll tell you first, and I'm, I'm not supposed to be talking, but I, <laughs> I do have to say one thing. Y'all have done some really serious hard work on that. That proposed budget is mm -hmm. a good budget. Mm -hmm. Y'all y'all have done good. Really have. It's tough, and that, you know, and, and people that sit out there at home and read what the paper comes out think, ah, oh, you know, yeah. these guys ain't doing anything. Y'all have done some serious work benefiting on this, their some really serious thinking. Yeah. That's good. So what what do y'all what do y'all what are y'all's thoughts? How do I go how do I go to my crew and explain that? I'm not. Well the thing is, what do we we get we, we we didn't we didn't do that. I know. No, but it's, in this, it's in this deal. No, not in the, no, not in proposed. Not in the proposed. It's in his requested, but not in the proposed. No. Well, we didn't do that. Because the problem is we this have, is what I'm saying. you know, here's, here's the thing in law enforcement for certificates. Used to, and probably back when Bobby started, yeah. back when I was in there, just until I got towards the end of my time, did they start making training mandatory. Because what they were seeing was across the state, a lot of these rural sheriff's departments and rural police departments, couldn't afford to send their officers to training. So they just wouldn't go. They may be in that department for 10 years and never have an hour of training. So T Close just at that time to start mandating 20 hours of training a year. So you had to have 40 hours every two years. And then they started dictating what courses you had to take. You know, uh, ethics, you had to take uh, uh, racial profiling, certain sexual assault, child abuse. But they did so the thing is now and you so to get your to get a the next level certificate you have to be in uh, officer of last week on so many years and have so many hours of training so if you just hang around in law enforcement long enough and your department sends you to train you're going to get the certificates so that you don't have to take a test for it right you don't have to do anything special you just go to your conferences and every so often they'll check and say oh you've got 400 hours of training in 10 years ah boom now you get your intermediate we, or we, your advanced or we your do that too every year we get but the landfill guys have to keep their class c license up so they've got to go to school and take tests to keep that license up and we give them 40 dollars yeah. a month or something 30 something, yeah, 30 something dollars certificate pay this is the problem i got with this guys right here this this benefits six people. Oh, telephone. Yes, and that's the top six at the department. Same thing with this right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, this benefits basically the same top six people. Well, I talked to Nacogdoches County. Nacogdoches County deputies get six hundred dollars for an intermediate, and then six hundred for an advanced, and six hundred for most. So they're top at at eighteen hundred. Yeah. Where. Ours is eighteen hundred just for an yes. advance. Yeah. City Lufkin, they get I can't remember now. It was like three hundred dollars, and they get like an additional forty or fifty dollars for the next one. And for it's not like they're getting like we give nine hundred, eighteen hundred, and twenty-seven hundred. That's a pretty good hit for for uh, you know certificate pay. Yeah. What DPS get? I wonder. You know, I don't know. But the county of Pete. I bet the colonel doesn't get certificate pay. We don't get it. <laughs> the county of Pete, and I tell you, whatever they get. <laughs> That's right. We're going to start charging them for inmates. <laughs> I'm going to send a bill to Abbott. Some of these top six probably need to be on the show. <laughs> but I'll tell you, I did not include, I did not include, now that money is in that line item for utility telephone. As they say in here, it's already in there. Uh, I'm not writing a check for uh, no. So, but well, we're not going to do that. We're not going to give a check. That, uh, and I didn't put the certificate pay in there. Increase. I left. The, I left their current certificate nine hundred, eighteen hundred, twenty-seven hundred. But I didn't do this with Paul Buzzard as you have it right now. And I might say I don't like it, but as, as you have it right now, without. Raising the taxes by we, going to the well, no, I don't think we can do that, Ken. Because if we do that, my proposed budget shows a one million seventy thousand dollar increase. Let's cut till we can. Is what I say. 
and that would be a 2.7 cent tax increase. That's without transferring any money. Now, if we transferred half, you know, 800,000 over, then we're only looking at 300 and something, right? 8,300 yes, yes. something thousand dollars. So that would be a that's the replacement. That would be a one penny. Vehicle. That'd still be a penny increase. Yeah, I was going to say something. If you took out the replaced patrol vehicles, that's three hundred twenty-five thousand. You mean on the four? I, 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 you talking about on the four replacement? Yeah. Yeah, the proposed four replacement well, we, vehicles. Yeah, so two hundred seventeen. Well, so I gave you if you look. Year anyway. But, I know. I, no, but, but he's he asking for this above what we. Yeah, are he's asking what it, what is on the cap that one hundred seventy-five thousand six hundred. My proposed is the full replacement and two new ones because he asked for six replacement and four new ones which is actually 10 vehicles and what i proposed was giving him the four replacement that we give that we that we told him we would do every year oh okay that's and that's then, so only, that. and then two new ones yeah then two okay. new ones so, so including that 175 under capital outlay is going to be uh six cars which is four replacement two new ones two rifles two Partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> I'm not in favor of an executive position, but tell me. Yeah, but if we did, okay. what is the end of this? And then there ain't. No. There ain't. Until you put your foot down, there ain't. What you in favor of three deputies? Yes, sir. If if we if I support anything, it'll be three deputies. Can we do that without raising taxes? No. So well, you can't if you want to transfer a million three hundred and seventy thousand, not a million four. I, 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 and the auditors are not going to like that at all. <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> you know, one, one of the things, guys, and let me just tell you about this. The, one, the reason we have such a an excellent uh, yes. debt rate, yes, and we have it, it is the fact that we have a a reasonable fund balance yes. and uh and boy if we jeopardize that we're in we're in trouble for now here's what happens if we if we take the fund balance and put it in the budget you're going to have to do that and then we have a hurricane hit we don't have the funding to continue the operation of this county until fema comes in and starts reimbursing yeah. because Question. how many million did we eight six million Mm -hmm. Is about what we used mm -hmm. when Hurricane Ike came through mm -hmm. to pay for the, the debris removal and the road. And of course, we got it took us, but we still haven't got well, everybody got all it. It took us. And that's been 2008. Yeah. So nine years, we still haven't got all our money back. Uh, so again, that's and that's that's why you have a fund balance for unforeseen things that happen. That we have to continue the continuity of this government uh, during those bad times. Yeah. Now, I hope it never happens. You know, that, that we have a prolonged time. We've been very fortunate, even with the hurricane we have, where we've only been down, you know, a week or so uh, before we get all the power back and stores open and everybody gets back to, to normal and, and starts doing the going through the recovery phase. But um, you know, once we budget that money, it's encumbered. It's there in this budget until the end of the budget year. If we do this, I mean, uh, again, my proposed shows an increase of a million seven, and that's not counting the 371,000 for the radio tower because that's going to be budget neutral because we've already transferred that in uh, from fund balance up top, and then we're showing the expenditure in in, in department 75. So what you're seeing at the bottom. We've already we've already transferred in three hundred seventy one thousand. So if we now if we want to balance this without raising taxes, that means we need to add an additional million seventy thousand one sixty five, which would come to a million about a million four right. three thirty million and a half dollars. Um, I mean, I, and I guess we could. We could allocate half of the million seventy, and then we still have to raise taxes. You know, the other half of it, which would be, you know, probably a, a, instead of two point seven cents, probably a penny and a half. Um, but again, but then, but I agree with what I'm hearing on both ends. Where does it end? Because I'm telling you, if you look at the request here, gentlemen, in your back, I guess Eddie gave you everything. 
you already got an idea of what it's going to ask for next year. Well, You're already putting in there for more dispatchers, more jailers, uh, not jailers, but more I mean, dispatchers, more jailers, and wants to continue this and increase this and increase that, and it's all in there. But and I don't really want to hear about that. I'm not concerned about 2019. I'm worried about 2018 and how we fund that. We'll worry about 2019 when that time comes, and I can't look at her and tell him, yeah, 2019 was good because who knows? You know, we may have General Electric may come back and put a jet engine. How many people, how many deputies we got on ship right now? <laughs> well, I've been, I've been dealing with that all afternoon, as a matter of fact. And it's very confusing because I'll tell you this. We're showing 25 deputies yeah. in the Sheriff's Office. Yeah, 25. Okay. Well, I got 23 here. Well, that's on that sheet. No. But, but you get there's three. He's got three deputies at the sheriff's office that are transport deputies, which right. should be at the jail because we don't transport from the sheriff. We transport from the jail. Right. So he's got we got 25 deputies counting the Burke Grant position, Charlotte. Then we've got a mental health transport and animal control who is not a deputy by who's the way, who's a, a civilian, right. but she's taking a deputy's position. Then we have the Zavala deputy, who, what I understand, kind of works when he wants to. And he does a lot of good work. Though. And he does, yeah. And he's down there he's in that south there. end of the county, but it's still, I don't know, I don't know when he worked. Then they've got a civil deputy, a warrant deputy, a sex offender deputy, a deputy assigned to CID, an environmental who does the garbage, you know, goes around search for dump sites, oh. and then the mowing deputy who goes around and mows this stuff. And then they've got three deputies that who are assigned to transport, which they should be taking positions from the jail, not from the sheriff's office. So that leaves us with... Did you mention the courthouse deputies? No, those are, those are separate. Right. Those are three separate, yeah. Basically, he's got... It's hard to say. <laughs> 12, 12 to 15 deputies on patrol. I mean, well, he's got he's, he's got three. What he's claiming is what he's got right now is he's got three deputies, a lieutenant and sergeant, on two shifts, and five. People. Then he's got four deputies, a lieutenant and sergeant on two other uh, two shifts. There's four shifts, and so and they work twelve hour shifts, like six a.m., six p.m., six p.m., six a.m. So on two so shifts there's five, two shifts there's six. Uh, and what he's what he's proposing is to put get these deputies he's asking for and put one more on each shift, which would make six on a shift or seven on a shift. And he's got and, and giving him that other CID would give him ten detectives. Ten detectives would give him eight CID, a sergeant, lieutenant CID, ten people. I don't know why we need ten detectives. I mean, you could take four or five of those detectives, or even four, and put them on a 3 p.m. to 3 a.m. shift, and they'd be working the last four hours, or three hours of the night shift, and the day shift, and the first three hours of the night shift. During the busy time. And you'd have you'd double your officers out there during the busy time of the shift. Instead of putting one more out there on the shift, which is really not going to, I mean, And I was a police chief, and, and I thought about this a lot of times when I was going to my city councils, and thinking, surely they're not going to believe me, and, if, and then I believe what I'm saying if I open my mouth and make that statement. But when you look around law enforcement, and you look at any police agency or any sheriff's agent department, and you say, well, we can't, we, you know, Look at the look at the sheriff parks. Look at this police department. They've got twice as many officers on a shift as I do. Or the police department say, look at the sheriff's office. They've got twice as many deputies on the street as I do on each shift. Well, if the police department has twice the amount of officers on the shift, and their crime rate is twice as bad, tell me how the increase in those numbers is solving crime or reducing crime. It, it doesn't. It doesn't work. I mean, you can't. You can't just say 
give me more people, more money, and I'm, that's going to that's going to that's going to reduce the crime here. It, 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 if I can figure out how to reduce the crime, we all could be living in the Bahamas right now. They'd be making a bunch of money. Um, so, yeah, the fact of the matter, do we need a reasonable amount of officers on the street in every department? Sure we do. Do we need some more to handle the cash We probably do. But I can't, I can't stand up and testify because I don't know that what we have now is not being used in the most efficient manner we can use them. I mean, if you're, if, if I, as a police chief, when I was having a problem with burglars at night, guess what? My investigator didn't work daytime. He came out and worked at night and patrolled sure. around. You know, uh, I came out at night and worked and patrolled around. You know, you do what you got to do to cover the shifts and problem areas that need to be covered. Um, you know, if I've got 10 investigators, and I'm having a bunch of burglaries. Well, they're not going to be sitting in the office. They're going to be out in those unmarked cars in those areas where you're getting burglarized and trying to catch some people. You know, and I tell you, I heard from a lady who got burglarized, and the deputy told her pretty much verbatim when she said, "I know who got my my equipment. Follow this little trail behind my house, and it comes out over there behind the woods. This bunch of crooks over there, and I tell you, that's where my cameras and stuff are." And his words to her was, "Well, you know, we're so short-handed. If I, if we had more people on the street, I could, I could have to afford the time to go look back down there and follow that trail." Should have had some butt fire right well, there. Why didn't he call the office and say, "Send me an investigator out here to go, go track this stuff down"? Or why are we taking burglary calls by telephone reports? You know, I just don't think that we're 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 being as effective and efficient as we can. Because it's easier just to tell the public. Woe is me, and, and we need more money, more people. And the fact of the matter is, I don't deny that. But y'all are a prime example, and so is Amy. Everybody here needs more money, more people. I need um, 350,000. That's what I need. I, just for the record, I personally think it's a management issue over there at the jail or the sheriff. He needs what fifty thousand dollars to replace an air conditioner at the jail. No, they're 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 wanting to budget fifty to replace air conditioners as they go out. At the they're, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh if they go out yeah. again, if they don't. Go but out. again, and we've been and I'm with you. I voted with y'all. I said I too. <laughs> when they've come in and wanted to move money from one line to another to buy something that oh look this is something yeah, we found we can these. use. Yeah. And we well, said, instead of saying, well, budget it next year, you know, we said, okay, let them transfer the money. Um, and so the thing is, if we give them $50,000 in there to replace air conditioners at the jail, that's what it's we need to make sure they don't transfer $40,000 of that to buy something else that they decide they want. If they don't buy the air conditioners, well, it comes back next year to the general fund, and we'll budget it again in case air conditioners go out. But you can't keep trying to find $50,000 every year. You know, it's like saying, my wife saying, I want to buy a car, I need $30,000. I said, okay, dang, man, here's the last 30000 And she goes out and gets a bunch of manicures or whatever, I don't know what they call them. And then next year she says, well, I need 30000 to buy a new car. Well, I don't have $30,000 there, but you know. So, you know, get your story, a million seventy thousand one sixty-five is the proposed shortfall. A million six eighteen four seventy is the requested shortfall. Um, if we put in the same amount of transfer from fund balance that we transferred last year, the eight twenty eight, we would need seven hundred ninety thousand, and that would amount to about a two two and a half cent tax increase. And if we put the same amount, the eight hundred twenty eight thousand from fund balance in there, we would need two hundred forty two thousand which would be about three quarters of a cent increase. So, y'all, I'm at y'all's mercy. I, I've, I've, Eddie has beat me mercilessly out here <laughs> with these numbers. So I'm looking for y'all, you know, y'all just tell me what direction that y'all want to go with this and, and I mean, well, I, mean I, 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 I tried to be, really, I tried to be generous and not just say, no, you know, which, I mean, based on every person I've talked to in Angelina County, I mean, that I, and I'm taking, I haven't, I haven't gone out and approached people and said, what do you think? 
I've had people call me and say, you need to come here. We want to talk to you. So I've gone. And I, again, had yet to have the first person be in favor of raising tax for anything. 100% of the people that call me about this, 100% do not raise my taxes. I've bumped into a few people on the road that said, well, if it's $10 or whatever, that's okay. But the people that made a point to call me or approach me about this was 100% against tax. tax and I pretty much am too, in case you ain't figured that out. <laughs> well, I mean, if we can do these things budget neutral, I mean, if there's a way where, again, if he's, if there's $300,000 in there that, that he would turn back, so with his proposed with the proposed budget being 343 if we could put that in there and transfer the money in to balance that and didn't have to use that money because the money that he had in his budget covered that cost so it would be you know revenue and expense for neutral I, yeah, I'd be 100% I'd be right off the bat say yes but I still have I mean I, I'm still I put it in there but again that's because I didn't want to be the one just to say no 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 not knowing exactly where y'all stood well I want to give y'all a chance to have input I don't, here. Know, I don't know how hard this is but if you go all the way if, if everything you've proposed all the way down to the sheriff's department mm -hmm. okay at that point we're comfortable and, and don't have to raise taxes and don't even really have to pull a lot out of fund balance am no. I correct no that's no, there's that amount. It's it's going to be still up. We're if we if we if we fund my proposed budget. I'm talking about excluding what you propose for the share. Oh, at taking the three hundred forty-three thousand out, we're still yeah. seven hundred thousand dollars short. So that's still going to cause us a. Well, I'd out. say we. Are. I mean, but that's the thing is, I mean, like, here's me. here's here's the thing. We were the same last year. We were doing that we were 800,000 short that's why we transferred the 828,000 in now we're we're hoping not but we're thinking we may have to dip in a little bit that this year and we may not but of all the years this looks like we may have to get to use some of it but we've never had to use it in before we put it in there to balance it uh, just like the state kind of does when they say oh well we're going to have we're going to put this much money from because we know we're going to generate this much revenue in the next two years, so we're going to use y'all's 911 money to balance the budget. But we're not ever going to use your 911 money, but we're going to use it to balance the budget. Now, we've used our fund balance to, to balance the budget, and we've never had to dip into it because either the sales tax was up a little bit, and what the department's returned at the end of the year and didn't expend was a wash. I'm going to say that. So, if this year we budget eight hundred twenty-eight thousand, if we have to, if we get a if sales tax goes up a little bit, or, you know, if it doesn't have a dip in it, we may not have to. We may have to use eight thousand. We, we may have to go up twenty-eight thousand. I don't know, uh, but we never had to before. But to make I said all that to say this: if we take out the sheriff's part, is what you're saying that three hundred forty. Yeah, well, what I wanted to do was look at where we was at. Without the sheriff's department, and then see what we could give him. It would be seven hundred. Take take three hundred forty three thousand three hundred six dollars from a million seventy one sixty five, and that's where's your little calculator? What am I going to do with you? No calculators. You take a million oh seven oh one six five point minus three forty three. 306, I believe, is that right? So we're $726,859 short. So that's what we would have to transfer from fund balance to balance the budget. And that's, that's, give, and that's giving, giving you net. That's, that's without putting anything in for the sheriff's office. That's putting the jail in there with no sheriff's office. So that's what I'm saying. We're about where we were last year. Well, some that's of that stuff we have, have to have. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Top sink payments, the, the, some of those things. And we talked question. about the, the replacement vehicles have to be in there. Yeah. It doesn't have to be in there, but we've agreed to that in the past. Right. So what I've just well, what yeah, I've taken just done, that in that in. I was just going yes, for the whole number. Right. Uh, if, if you take out the everything deputies, the cars, the top scene. And, yeah, and, and, the, and the additional two cars and the additional equipment, yeah. uh, it's 314469 So it would have to be 750000 Yeah. Additional, yeah. 
Yeah. So, uh, so yes. And we're not 300 what? 14? So 314. So you take 36 and now we're about 696 is what yeah. we'd have to transfer in from yeah. 700,000 to the 726. But, but the, cars are, the cars are not already in his budget from the last year or two? The cars, yes, the yes. Cars are in there. Yeah, the cars are cars are in there. The full well, car. No, we well, put, yeah, we, we don't have a lot of time just for cars. We're replacing the cars just capital. Out. in capital. Yeah. But we just budget that we, you know, we we don't put we don't have a separate line item for replacement cars. We just put it in capital out. Okay, but did, last year it was in there, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So if we left it like it is. He'd still be just for cars, correct? No, it was in capital outlay last year too. But if we leave it in capital outlay, it'll be there. Yeah, and and, and yeah. what I just gave you was with those with, with those in with there. The cars. only taking out the extra things. The two extra, new cars. All right. At that point, are two we new comfortable? Rifles, the two the transfer two new without relation taxes. Are we comfortable doing that scenario yes. without relation taxes? What's that? Comfortable. <laughs> We're never is, comfortable. Is the auditor that, comfortable? Well, yeah, but let me ask this. You see, what's well, happening next year, though? Well, he's going to come back with the same thing if he doesn't get fixed. I'm just saying, where's the end of this? There's never any. I mean, you're going to continually until. Well, yeah, I'll, tell, I'll tell you, here's what's going to happen because I know law enforcement guys. I, I, I are one. Mm -hmm. If we give him the personnel this year and the equipment this year, next year it's salary. Yes. Yeah. Now, next year it's, it's $900,000 of salary. Well, we need to get everybody up to where Harris County's making, you know. Yeah. I mean, it, it doesn't end. And then you come back to next year, and now we're behind again in personnel. We need more personnel. That's, that's what I'm saying. You cannot put enough money in law enforcement. That's the right, reason that's right, I'm trying to get it what we've got to, what we've got to give him out of this. Well, if, if you take two cars, two rifles, two cop seat computers, yeah, right. uh -huh. that stuff out of this equipment list, then what you have left over is. The cop seat, fifty-one thousand dollars for the cop seat. We have to pay. That we have to do the four replacement cars. Um, I don't have a list from me. Oh, here. You go. Four that, replacement that's it, that's cars. It, yeah. that, uh, that's it. That's it. Yeah. So we well, give an air conditioner for ten thousand dollars. Yeah, ten thousand dollars for replacing an air conditioner. We need you know to replace one that's getting old. Uh, the annual payment to cop seat, fifty-one thousand. The four vehicles, which is two hundred twenty-eight thousand. So now you're at two hundred and seventy-nine thousand plus ten, two hundred eighty-nine thousand dollars. We cover the four replacement vehicles, the computer, and the annual payment to cops. Which is stuff we pretty much got to do. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I propose. Yeah. <laughs> well, but <laughs> roughly, that would that would need seven hundred and fifty-five thousand, roughly, from fund balance. Yeah. We're already taking two seven two three seventy one. Three seventy one. So that would get it up to close to a million dollars. Now. But we can live with the 371. We can we live know. with the 371. We know we, we anticipate spending that, and we uh, know it's going to take us a couple of years to, to, to get it back, bring that back. The, but this, we can come, we're comfortable with spending that because it's a one-time deal. The 755, just like last year, we used 820, uh, 828, which we're not we trust we're not going to need much of that at all. So. That may be the same scenario. Yeah, if we use the 750, I mean, although we'll be putting a million in, say, 371 of that we know is gone. So, of the 700 extra thousand or whatever it is, say, you know, like round numbers, of the other 700,000, will we need any of that at the end of the year? Or will, as we've done in the past, we've been able to not use that because of the revenue, some of the revenues have increased and some of the expenditures have not. Happened. That makes sense. Yeah. Yes, always, always in our budget preparation, we try to very underestimate revenues and, over and overestimate expenditures. Mm -hmm. And, and in, in the past, we've been able. And it's worked. It's proved that we've yeah. done that. So I would not, frankly, anticipate needing this seven hundred and fifty-five thousand that it would take to do yeah. to do this. Uh, but the, the fact of the matter is, is we've done that in lieu of. Raising taxes. raising taxes because right. we knew I mean if we raise taxes we're actually not going to need that much at the end of the year because we got the revenue you know sales tax and, and reduction in expenditures came back and covered that deficit um, well, I need 350,000 for a machine we take that one time out of fund balance you don't have it in your fund balance <laughs> there you go. Your fun balance. You will stand alone. And 
you're in case like you didn't know like the airport and the landfill. You just yeah. stand alone. Yeah. You're in the enterprise department. <laughs> I will tell you, I've done pretty good with what I've got. Yeah, that, and that's, it, it, it's operational for y'all. It always has been and it will be until. But again, I mean, here's the thing. <clears throat> With, with and I'll have to. Thing. I'll stand here, and I have not had a chance. I, 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 I'm not making. I'm, I'm not. You know, the statute tells me what I have to do yeah. as a budget officer of this county, and I'm going to do that. And I'll, I'll do it openly. I'll let Don come in. And I'll talk to Don. I'll let anybody in here come in here if they got a question or in the public hearing. I'll let them answer, and I'll answer them truthfully, and I'll show it to them. I won't just talk them and you know give them a spiel. I'll show them facts. But when you got somebody from your local TV station stands up and says that we're the biggest county and we got one of the lowest tax rate, we should have the biggest tax rate. That's what people don't understand. That's tax awesome. rates aren't based on population. No, there's paper population has nothing to do with it. And to sit there and say that the sheriff's department has not had an increase in their budget in 21 years when they've had nearly a million dollar increase in the last five years is somebody that should be doing some fact finding before they do yeah no. they should be doing some fact finding before they should, they're doing some face letting you know so again it's, it, it is what it is and, and again i admire y'all for not well, let, let me make my case for what i'm asking for. <laughs> i'm trying to get you out yeah. <laughs> and i'll tell you what the audience is this machine Precinct one has one. Y'all need to learn to share it a little better. Well, Old hands. this is the this is the issue, Judge, and and we've all talked about it. Is when I need it, he needs it. You know, I'm renting the uh, three hundred thousand three hundred thousand dollar machine right now for thirty days for fifteen thousand dollars. Well, I'm wondering maybe a unit road system wouldn't help alleviate some of this because then that road yeah. superintendent would know when that needed to be used in yeah. what precinct. You're, you're, you're absolutely right, but the voters won't support it. Uh, voters don't have to. Well, I agree. Y'all can put it in. If it doesn't work, take it out. If the voters put it in, you can't take it out. You can't take it out. I agree. You know, and, and again, I, I, but I, it will save us on material costs and in a long run. I am spending. 100% of my budget in material residually on the same projects over and over and over and over again. And uh, I can reduce that material cost and in turn reduce labor costs uh, with the purchase of, of a machine uh, like this to, to cut down on constant uh, base failure digging, you know, uh, day in, day out. If you're taking dirt out of a hole and you're putting material back in, uh, Mm -hmm. You know, we're moving it from one place to another. You put me in so stingy. Yeah. Well, just, just for the record, in January, the unit vote system kind of got took off. He's had my machine. I've moved his equipment. <laughs> I've got his roller down in my yeah, playground. That's, 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 so that's what it's all about. I'm making all the same for everyone. I'm telling you, that's for that's, 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 that's getting along in it. And you make my all the same. making all the same for all. Sharing the sandbox. Working together. Sharing the sandbox. That's what it's all about. It is. Sharing the shovel. I'll share this machine with you, Kenneth. <laughs> well, I got one next door to him. I can get when I get rid. Well, <laughs> I, I tell you that for sure. I, I, I borrowed his machine. I used it last year, and it works well. Okay, yeah. but that was because he was out of money and couldn't use it himself. <laughs> well, he gonna run out this year, and I get it when I get rid. Well, the thing is, though, he, he, it out. broke down on me, and I'm I had to spend two thousand dollars to fix it. Giving up. What are we gonna do, Oscar fellas? What are we gonna do? Lost we gonna control. go. What's y'all's recommendation? What are you on I do not want to raise taxes. I don't either. I think I made that pretty clear. <laughs> I mean, we're not, we can't take a vote here because not an agenda. No, no. Vote, but I want to know your consensus or what y'all consensus what is. Want to do. Consensus is. And what you want me to tell me what you'd like for me to do. Take because, what you can and because out of one I'm going to file. Balance I'm going to file a proposed budget Monday. Uh, and tomorrow's Friday. So uh, by close of business day Monday, because if we don't, then we can't adopt the budget until September, and I don't know that we can anyway, but I want to have that opportunity. Because if we increase taxes, if we exceed the lower the effective rate and rollback rate, then we've got to have two public hearings in addition to the public hearing in which we adopt the budget. 
and I have to give a seven day notice. I have to have two hearings at least three days apart. So now we're moving down the calendar and so that moves us into September. Uh, and we have to have by law the budget adopted by September 20th because we got our certified appraisal rolls on July 20th and we have to do either by September 30th or 60 days after we receive the certified numbers. So we've got to have a budget adopted. If we don't have a budget adopted by September 20th, then we revert back to this year's budget. What can you do to keep them raising? What, what, what can we do? The only thing you can do is hold services and, and... No, 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 no. I'm talking about to keep from raising taxes. Mm -hmm. right. well, here's what, what I'm can you do? Here's what I'm hearing, based on Commissioner Pitt here, I think, <laughs> is eliminate all of the sheriff's additional items that's not already Man uh, managed yeah. uh, and, committed and then take the balance which is going to be roughly seven hundred and fifty five thousand out of fund balance and leave the effective leave the effective tax rate what it is i think so i've got to put words, all the numbers so in other words to make sure we're, we're not going to do anything except the sheriff's office that give them their four replacement cars and their cot sink that's annual right. fee and everybody else will stay the only thing we're giving is is the, the eight dollars a month, ninety six dollars a year cost to live? I mean the the, the uh, longevity pay. Um, now we do have in there the six thousand dollars for the election office for that and, and contract the, temporary person and and, why and the mean? jail doors and, and all, yeah, the jail doors and that all the stuff that and they, then they the money to fix the drive through window and stuff at the and why but nobody they, else. I mean, there's no other increases except IT, but that's. That's for the operation of the whole county. Well, now you're you're. Uh, uh, I mean, we can take that out. You're just you're just swapping money there. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, this, yeah, yeah nothing's uh, increased. It's coming right, from this one to go right, here. That's what, that's so what we can put it back and be the same. Yeah, that's the reason I was asking. Yeah, yeah. but we okay. need it like it is so for can, the grant. The grant. Yes, we can understand. Get, yeah. To get the grant monies and and and, and make sure that everybody knows that road and bridge is taking a hit. Except for St. Paul. Uh, Except for St. Paul. Y'all taking a hit too, aren't you? Y'all yeah. taking a hit? No, I want that three hundred fifty thousand. <laughs> <laughs> out of your fund balance. Well, when I when and this I, will be a one time, <laughs> and, and when, when, it when will I, fix. Well, we it might will do fix precinct four for ten to twelve. To well, I tell you this. I, I tell you then. It will. We can we can do communication system. No. Or we can do. No precinct. Precinct four. Precinct four. That's do communication. <laughs> The, the communications is an if anyway. It's an if because they got to get grant money to get it anyway. No, no, no. This, this, this covers without grant money. This is totally this covers. Is that going to replace the existing radio tire? Yep. It's going to yeah. put one in Zavala. It's going to replace one in here and yeah. and, and one in Dabo. Tell me that again. Well, it is going to replace the one in yes. on OU. Yes. Yeah. There's yes. going to be three tires. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> three tires. If it doesn't do away with it at all, I mean that yeah. there won't be a tie for that. That's what I'm hoping. They can move over there. Okay. Now we're gonna have what we're gonna do. We're gonna have two two new tires and the one in dive on gonna have to be moved. And we're putting the infrastructure in at all those locations. Have you talked to the city manager down there? Yeah. Sorry. Where and where? That one. Oh no, that they're they don't have a choice. They are the, well, the state's going to Textiles has already out. paid him to move it. Yeah, Textiles yeah. already paid him to move it. But he's made some comments that he might need to get some clarification on. So. Well, okay. Yeah, well, I assume that's already been taken care yeah. of. We'll, I'll make sure that is. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I just. But that's the city's going to share half of this cost with us. And, and then if there's some money that comes yeah. in to offset that, then we'll split that money and go back to yeah. the city and half the county. To recoup some of that expenditure, but that's no, really that's that's to do the whole system. Uh, now we'll have to look at phase two and three down the road for when we start replacing some radios and that kind of stuff, you know, portables and hand handhelds and, and mobile units and stuff. But everything we have now, we'll work on that system. But that's getting the towers up at your place. Well, it should be a better reception, should we? Oh yeah, yeah. That's the whole whole thing. Is we you know we're operating on a water tower down there in South. <laughs> Sometimes. So I don't have any support for three hundred fifty thousand. You will if I can. I can get it. <laughs> so I spent it. I'm just asking. Yeah, I know. What you I, saying? I don't have any support for. 
Oh, no. Everybody, I think everybody else wants radio time. Yeah. <laughs> Just ask. Now, if Greg could get 350000 for his, you know, he probably wouldn't want radio time either. <laughs> but I don't think y'all going to figure Greg that out. Greg got that much old him, and when he get it, he can loan it to you. He no, he doesn't. No, no, he, no doesn't. he doesn't. He don't have that much no, old. No, no. No. <laughs> So I, I don't know if y'all know, my predecessor brought an asphalt zipper, and it just uh, it don't work. You got rid of that. Thing. Have you ever tried to plumb it in? We're working. We're working on it. Plug I got to put it on the agenda item. I, the counties I've heard from just love it. I don't know. No, why. I don't like the zipper. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. It, uh, Maybe they're, all, maybe they're all maybe they're all embarrassed for the because they bought it. Now they that's what they did. That's what they say. It. It. In fact, he predecessor admitted that it did not work just the other day. So they spent a lot of money on it. He spent one hundred seventy thousand on it. Yes, sir. The waste of capital. So okay, am I am I hearing right? Because I've got to get this changed and filed, and I, we're not going to meet again before Monday. So am I hearing that? Y'all want to adopt the effective rate, take everything out of the sheriff's department request except for the four cars and the top sync program, and transfer the seven hundred fifty thousand from fund balance to balance the budget, and not have the tax increase at all. That was my request. I didn't hear nothing. Not any. Well, not <laughs> deputy, but I don't like nobody. Is there agree. not any deputy increase? No, no added deputies. No added personnel. I'd like to see at least one. At least one. Well, we can't be on the day shift or night shift. I don't care where he puts it, but just that's that's his problem. Well, we got 23 officers, right? I'm, I'm just telling you from a law enforcement standpoint of where I was yeah. on the street. Don't get I, if I had a choice, give me help. Don't give me more money. Give me help. And, and I I can't argue the management problem. Well, that's that's my thing. I think he's got the help there to give him. He just he just ain't doing it. And if you if you keep giving it, he's just gonna keep moving them up there. Well, again, yeah, I think we got a professional standards officer that could be doing something besides professional standards. Mm -hmm. and, you know, you've got the civil or warrant officer, the sergeant. And you, I mean, yeah, there's there's a lot got of things. Two shields, five lieutenants, seven sergeants, six. Well, you know, you're a good detective, but. And then 23 deputies. You got two shifts. Is that not right? Four shifts. Four shifts. How do you get four shifts? Are they. He's got they three, three. He's got a. He's claiming three, he has three, three deputies on his shift plus a sergeant lieutenant. So you got, you got, you got five lieutenants. You got four lieutenants on patrol and one CID. So all these are people that's been talking is three. Well, he told me he ain't got but three per shift. Well, that's what he's saying. He's only, but they don't understand. They think he's only got three bodies out there. Yeah, well, the last, last time I discussed something with him. And we've got someone on vacation. Maybe he does, but if he have a lot, why, again, that's the whole purpose of maybe making this power shift out there and taking some of these CID guys or some of these other guys uh, that he's got doing other jobs and, and put four of them out there on a power shift so that when you have one on vacation on a normal shift, you're, you've still got those other four out there. You know, instead, of, instead of having five, you got to five the three deputies and the lieutenant sergeant now, and you put a power shift. Now you got four of the deputies. Now you got nine people out there. Well, I was so told if you take two on vacation, you still got seven in the office to do paperwork. Huh? I was told that he has to have the boss, which is the lieutenant, lieutenant, I guess, in the office. Well, he to do wants paperwork. him. From what I heard, he wants him sitting at the desk. And but the they're saying they're saying and the sergeant. Yeah, I can't, we can't do that in Angelina County. This is in Harris County. Well, you know, I mean, in the county where you have 40 deputies on a shift, you, the lieutenant may sit in there and, and supervise from a, from a desk. But in rural Texas, you got to do it all. You got to be the lieutenant. And guess I what? Didn't. When you're when your sergeant and your three deputies are on a call as a lieutenant, you may have to take a call every now and then. You can't say, "Oh, lieutenants don't take calls." Sergeant, I take calls at 11 o'clock at night. Don't cut trees. <laughs> yeah. I'll go so, I mean, again, it's, it, you do what you have to do, and you and you all you're always evaluating what you're doing, you know. And, and I, I don't know. I, I look at this shift right here. It tells you 
who's in these positions and what the positions are and you know you've got it's just like the jail we've got there's 33 jailers okay plus four lieutenants that's 37 plus three corporals that's 40 plus five sergeants that's 45 plus a food service manager that's 46 plus a business HR manager that's 47 plus three part-timers so he has to take three deputy positions and make them transport out of the sheriff's office why aren't they out of the jail and that would give him three more deputies over here in the sheriff's office they should be in the jail anyway that's where they're transporting from I mean that's what you need transport is inmates in the jail you don't transport other deputies it's just planning I don't know but it, again I don't run it I, you know, and that's not my job, and, and I can't start doing everybody. You know, his job, and, and, and I do Amy's job enough. You know, he got throw you in. Well, she's just here, <laughs> convenient. <laughs> she takes it for me. I could say I do Eddie's job, but everybody knows that's true anyway. <laughs> yeah, right. That's impossible. Yeah, that's, yeah. Eddie, you gonna bring back that good order? Okay, so I need to. Dip. I know we beat this round, and yep. so I need a, a final. Yeah, I think that's mine. What I'd like to see. So, do we have that? Do it for me. All we going to raise taxes. No. Well, that's depends on what you want. If you, you want more personnel, taxes? we're raising taxes. It is the fifth week. If we if we add personnel, we're raising taxes. There's no way around that. Right. I mean, we're we're stretching what we got now by just maintaining what we have and what we're committed to. If you want, I mean, and so that's again, that's why I proposed this. This, you know, was. I mean, most of the time, you know, budget is not rocket science. In most years, when you know your revenues are pretty flat, which they have been over the last eight or nine, seven, eight, nine years. You know what you got coming in, and so there's not a whole lot of. You might move a little here and a little there, but you kind of stay in neutral. So there's not a lot. But when you have a bunch of requests and you're trying to modify those requests, it, it just doesn't happen in, in sitting here in 30, 45 minutes an hour and you get that done. Well, you really, you really. I mean, you do. I do more soul searching in here on this budget than I do put these numbers in these lines. I just feel like with the funds that we have available, that. And, I, and I'm going to tell y'all something. I I do not want to raise taxes for anything, but sooner or later we're going to have to, guys. I mean, sooner or later. Well, I mean, not for I'm hoping that this community will, I mean, will be beneficial, the beneficiary of some industry that right. comes in. Right, sooner or later. If you keep taxes down, that's a payment to them. Right. And, and if you start raising taxes, you start raising taxes. Exactly. If right. you, start, you start raising taxes, guess what? All that industry looks for counties over here that have low tax rates. And I tell you what, those other 12 counties out there that are looking at us right now, except for Sabine County's a little low. Nacogdoche County in 2014 was a half a penny below us, and now they're 15 cents above us. They would love to be where we were. But they're men, and, and they haven't added any personnel. Matter of fact, they cut 16 jailers during this time. They've only given them one back. So their their problem is their values have gone down so bad they've had to raise taxes just to maintain the same service. Or we've been able to pick up some of this through, you know, some of these other jobs in retail and, and hotels and you know service industry. Um, but it's not the quality job. It's not forty, fifty dollar an hour jobs. So those people can't afford to, you know, some of those that were making thirty, forty dollars an hour, fifty dollars an hour at general at Lufkin Industries and the foundry and the uh, Machine shop. I don't know where I was in 2004. Right. And I would say, Bobby, listen, seriously, in all sincerity, <laughs> if we had the money, we got the money. I would, I would go for that. But we I got the money. money. That, 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 where? That, where? Where? In where? Where? Else. Well, no, you can't use phone balance for for personnel. Uh, no, 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 no. I ain't talking about personnel. I'm talking about my machine. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought that was settled. I thought that one had already died for well, lack of a second. You know. <laughs> Uh, well, here, it, it, here, 
Go ahead. I, no, I mean, I understand the dynamics of it. I really do. Well, but uh, you weren't here in 2004, 5, and 6 true. when we were. True. We're in better I mean, four, two million dollars right in the hole than we've ever been. Yeah. If we hadn't had the landfill back then, we'd have shut County Governor down. Sure. Because we were broke. And guess what happened to us? <laughs> when we started taking money from the landfill, the city wants to negotiate their contract because we were paying the. They were paying the landfill too much. Well, money. I, I'd love to renegotiate that contract. <laughs> they sure did. No doubt. Uh, and then one year, we just put it out. Everybody took a five percent cut. Every department. Yep. Remember that, Eddie? Yes, sir. Every, yes. every department has to make five percent cut. You know, and that's it's taken it's taken us it's 2017 15 years. To build our fund balance back where it's manageable now, to where if something happens, we can. What we are we can make right it. now? From about ten million. Yeah. yeah. Nine. 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 A little under yeah. ten. Yeah. Nine. Yeah. But with a twenty-five million dollar budget, it's what about six. It's about a little less than six months operation. Yeah. yeah. You know, and and again, if you have, that's just if the market crashes. And and what are you taxes are what are you in. If we have a disaster and we spend four million of that, and and then we have to operate for a couple of months, we're broke. Now they recommend three to six months. So the, the normal regular can. Here, here's what I'm hearing. I'm, I'm guys. That's what I <laughs> we can beat this to death for how long? Well, I want to. I got to have a consensus as to how to put these numbers together. He's uh, on time. What what I've heard is. Uh, not give the sheriff any of his additional increases. That's one proposal. And then that would mean leave the, leave the effective tax rate alone, take the balance, which is roughly 750000 out of fund balance. Then, balance, all right, to balance the budget. To balance the budget. Then there was a suggestion to uh, do exactly that, but add one deputy. Yep. And no. that would add uh, tax rate. Increase. In increase the tax rate to do that, and then the other, the third proposal was to transfer three hundred and some odd thousand to Road and Bridge Four. Three hundred fifty thousand. What do y'all want to do, guys? Which one of those three do you want to do, so I can put it in this budget? We want to transfer three hundred fifty thousand. Well, I say. Well, I say, I say, like uh, <laughs> folks on five more said, we or me want to transfer three hundred fifty thousand dollars. That's up to y'all. Y'all are the road bridge guys. Right. It takes three y'all to say the budget. That will fix precinct four. I, I, I tell you guys, it will fix precinct four. We need to go ahead and balance the budget. We got to balance the budget. We got to three. balance. Well, <laughs> no, I need a million dollars, man. <laughs> okay, get us this thing. The first proposal. Take out all the sheriff's extra, not add any any additional personnel, and not transfer money to Road and Bridge Four. Is that right? That's what I'm saying. Uh, and that was mine, so there's two. There's two. Okay. No additional increases. We go. We got to pay for the comp thing, right, guys? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. No additional. Yeah. And then we're going to leave the four the four replacement cars and the comp sink in there. Yeah. We're just not putting any additional new cars or personnel in there. Is what they're saying. And then pay for one air conditioner. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that now? What's that 10 grand air conditioner? Well, that's just, that's about what it costs to that, replace an air conditioner. That, okay. They the should put side. that in there every year. Is that yeah. separate from the 50 that we're giving him as well? No, that's for the jail. That's for the, the jail. jail. For the two, the different okay. two different buildings. Okay. Guys. Two different buildings, guys. Two different buildings. <laughs> and so they're, they're looking to replace in multiple units, possibly at the right. jail. Okay. All right. And you got to, you got inmates in there. You know, you, right. All right. What I'm saying. What I'm hearing is two votes, or I don't know if we're voting. No, 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 but no, no, no. two suggestions for number one. Two people will, or what I'm hearing is two people say, here's what I want to see in the budget. That's right, okay. Well, that's um, what I want to say. Okay, well, there's so three. Three. Yeah, three. So you're saying give them their four placement cars, give them their cop sink, their air right. conditioner, and don't give precinct four their 350000 for their machine. I mean, we can't afford that. Okay. Well, that's what you're saying. Then. Sorry, but I'm just saying, we can't afford that. <laughs> that's three. Don't you just hate three, number three? <laughs> but you get no no additional increases. The comp set we got to do, AC we got to do, and four replacement cards we have to do. And what that will do, that will mean we will balance this budget with no tax increase. We will adopt the effective tax rate. And 
we won't have to have all those other we will not and again but you got to understand like unlike some other counties we will not be cutting services we will not be cutting personnel we will not be cutting back on salaries right you know we're, we're going to continue to maintain that service you do know where that money will come from greg if i was to get it precinct one no <laughs> yeah, you know. where i'm asking for it from not yes yes okay yeah but I do know too, if something happened to this county, I agree. We would we would I, be sunk I, if we just kept dipping. You know, I, I agree. Well, well I tell y'all this, and here's something y'all might want to consider. I doubt very seriously in talking with people that I can put an elevator at the Denver building. <laughs> we, there, it's just not. There's just no. I just don't think there's any way we can do that. What's going to ask you about that? Uh, so that's a hundred and thousand dollars that y'all can use if you so choose if you want to leave it in there and i'll continue trying to find a way to make that happen if we ever can i don't believe we'll ever i again just in talk with the elevator companies i mean it's i just don't see any way we can make it work uh, the way the, the, anyway. and and that's the problem if we do that then we've got to the whole bill has to be adapted to the ada rules and regulations that means all the bathrooms have to be redone to come out. I just don't see it be able to afford that. Um, so there's $150,000 that y'all, if y'all so choose, can use for equipment. And it has to be, it can't be used for anything else. We can't put it towards personnel or anything. It has to be used for. Well, it can only be used for what the, the, the tax of the tax, 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 tax note was, and that was for the elevator equipment and stage and stage and feasibility study. Yeah, that's going to be done. I'm I'm close to going to uh, uh, We need to do this. Maps. We'll know going forward what we need. Yeah, yeah. 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 But that's, I mean, that's that's there, and that's up. You know, if you also need to move that to somewhere for equipment, they do it, but we can't use it. Nobody won't touch it. Nobody won't touch it. But I'll find. I just want to make sure that when we bring this budget to the public that this is the budget that this governing body is comfortable with presenting uh, and, and you know because I tell you what I had a commissioner one year who's no longer here so I'm on that several of them so I won't tell you who it was but in these budget workshops was adamant about us increasing the tax rate of penny and he got the other three commissioners to agree to that and they he divided that help. penny between all four precincts based on their percentage now some of them got three hundred thousand some of them got sixty thousand and then when it came to vote for that budget that day and that penny tax increase he voted he was the only commissioner who voted against it and i thought he made the proposal you're the one that wanted again. the increase I, it just, I just i just and i you know, of course i just moved on i didn't say but it like floored me. <laughs> Surely it wasn't Big Brother. No, no, no. Okay. But it, 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 it floored me that they, you know, <laughs> were adamant that. about increasing it a penny so they could get because they Road Bridge had never had any increase and needed behind, 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 behind. And then when it took a vote, everybody voted I and he voted nay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway. Well, if I'm going to vote, though, I'm going to tell you beforehand. Well, we need, I need to know that now if y'all are comfortable. Well, right, I mean, if I you're. I ain't getting nothing. I won't. Well, I don't know. Well, and, and, but we're not. I mean, again, there's no personnel increases. And right. that's. Uh, hey, I can, you know. I'll stand. I mean, I'm here. And, and again, I'll be the first to admit. Does the sheriff's office probably need more? Yes. Does the county clerk's office probably need more? Yes. Road and bridge need more, yes. Everybody need more, probably so. This probably ain't the time to do it, and you don't have to elaborate on it, but uh, I got an email about a uh, GLO government, uh, general land office grant, million dollar grant for roads. Is that for roads? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I hadn't heard that. Well, maybe we, need, we might. I'll ask Ray about that. Uh, actually, Pat Oates is the one that sent the email to me. Did he? And it said that uh, the uh, restoration was real recent. Or the well, the, the application process. Application well, process. see, now that may be what we went out for engineer. You know, I advertised for engineers qualifications here a couple of months back, and, and we did that because Ray recommended go ahead and do that because there may be some grants coming up, but he wasn't sure whether they were going to and if they were, when. Uh, so he said just go ahead and take, take the... Uh, 
uh, proposals and then let's hold off on them and don't open or award them until we find out whether or not we can, we can even use them. Yeah. So I'll call Ray and find yeah, out if that's that, 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 split. Well, I'm hoping. He said that you could apply for between 100000 and a million. Mm -hmm. yeah, and but it was 15 only, and 16 disasters and we fell under it. Well, okay, I see. But that's under that, that's under that flood money and, and they've already allocated the five top of Newton County, Orange County, Jefferson County, those got a set amount and the leftover is going to be up for the other 133 counties to, to be competitive. So it's a long shot, but it's worth it. But it's worth it. Yeah, okay. if we've got the, if we've already got the engineer packets in and all we have to do is to submit an application, sure it's worth it. Please. So y'all, I'll let y'all know as soon as I find out and y'all may have to again come up with the numbers of the damage you had in 15, 16 and we'll, We'll run that up the flagpole. I mean, if, if we get, get seventy-five thousand dollars for each one, that's seventy-five thousand you don't I'm have. All right. I'm all about that's it. Too low, too low, dull. Even though I said I never would deal with any of that much again, dull. but <laughs> yeah. the other, the, the, the yeah. last thing I need is is there the road and bridge? Are y'all happy with your? I know no, I, I've got to get one from I'm precinct four. Know, yeah. I'm not, I'm, <laughs> he wants three hundred fifty thousand. <laughs> <laughs> we we got to find that three hundred fifty thousand somewhere. Well, Get to work, but I gotta have this thing. That's gonna be a part of the budget that has to be Fire money. proposed proposed budget. So I gotta have that by mine, but I ain't gonna say nothing. Right. Where well, you gonna get it from? You don't. That's it. I mean, well, I think the only place we can get it from is we again. Great. As I have said every year, I don't mind giving somebody more. I just have to take it somewhere. So I either have to take it from one of the other departments, y'all included. I have no. I have one person. Yeah. Yeah, you Not can't whole lot I can give up. But you know, <laughs> hey, I can type kinda. And I don't mind doing it. I do a lot of it now, trust me. But I either have to take it from y'all, from the clerk's office, I gotta take it from one of the thirty other departments to give it to one. And you gotta think or I gotta go to go to go to the public and raise your taxes. <laughs> take it from the <laughs> <way>. <laughs> I got plenty of money. Yeah, I'll raise taxes. How about you, Don? Let's let the landfill ask you for Let's let that. What's the land land land? Land? Well, that doesn't matter. No, they're not. The landfill, we can go to the landfill. You can go for one thing. We're just, I mean, this is, I mean, we all uh, we take just say the landfill is just, uh, Precinct the, the airport and the landfill. They're both, they're enterprise funds, so yeah. they don't take any general fund tax money. Right. Uh, the landfill is. Very little increase. There. Very little. 279,000 total, but 275 of that's depreciation. Um, so it's, you know, not, they don't even, the capital outlay is, is not, didn't increase. Um, Basically, they take, they take 250,000 uh, of that, or 200. Well, there's. Um, give me the rest of that tax money. In order to balance their budget, they're, they're having they to, had to draw for eight thousand yeah. out of their fund balance. So that they're already deficit in their budget by two hundred eight thousand. We wouldn't have enough trash out there. Probably well, that's because of the closures and the equipment they've had to buy yep. the last couple of years, and then you know, maybe next year they may be we may be able to take two or three hundred thousand out of there. Uh, but it's just they've had, like I said, we've had the closure and opening of the sale this last year. They've had to buy a, 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 a forty, four hundred thousand dollar dump trucks, or whatever. Now a bulldozer, or, yep. you know, a compactor or a packer or whatever you call it. There's another factor with the, right. with the uh, landfill. We use their, or the, actually the county's financial security mm -hmm. to, in order to qualify uh, with TCEQ. If we don't have that then we have to put up the money for the entire estimated closing cost, which is some $8 million. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we have to keep not only the county financially strong, but also the landfill. Mm -hmm. And that's why we can't wander every year and draw money out of it, right? But again, there is times where we do for years, for you know, a couple of years and several years in a row, they have a, they have a profit that eventually we can draw Somebody there, for, but you can't have two year deficit in a row right. because then it, it, it triggers a whole lot of problems. It, it really is. Yeah. And without that, without that mechanism, which I think is the most foolish thing in the world, the way they do it, because uh, it is no financial security, 
uh, financial assurance, but they allow us to do it. Otherwise, we either have to put up an insurance, buy an insurance policy, put up a bond, or actually have the money set aside. And in, in, in all three of those are cost prohibitive. Yeah. So eight million dollars uh, are sitting there. That's our fund balance. So our fund balance really is saving us down. Yes, it is. Yes, yes it yeah. is. Yeah. And, and the fund balance not only mainly in the general fund, but also in the landfill. In the airport, same way we're looking at uh, uh, $100,000 in capital outlay. That's for another ramp project, something around the T hangar, maybe. I'm hopefully we get the airworthiness through this this current construction project and the, air, the total airworthiness of the airport will be done and we'll start looking at, at some of this funding over the next few years to maybe uh, increase our capacity as far as tea hangers and things go because we've got a waiting list of people that want to need a hanger and if we can get more home base, I mean if we can get to that, and I, we, I think everybody's been praying for this for 100 years waiting to get to that 100 home base aircraft number because that puts us elevates us to a different bracket as far as FAA and textiles concerned we get all kinds of additional funding and, and, and stuff that, that far we're benefiting. Uh, 76, 76 down, 78 30 yeah. to 35 more yeah. the thing is we got several out there that are you know several that are in our hangars that aren't aren't listed as this being their home base they're in another state right so you know, if we can encourage them of course, they're worried about personal property taxes. <laughs> yeah. And, and when you own a jet, you know, if you can register it, have it registered in the home base in another state, yeah. then our appraisal district can't come around and say, oh, oh, you need to pay personal property tax on an $8 million jet. Do we take an airplane? So. It's all not used in business. Only right. if it's used in business or. Yeah. Okay. And a lot of them write that off over there. And of course, yeah. they just, they're not used more for. Personal, but they're using their business to write it off with. Like we need to have some workshops with these department heads. Okay. So we've got, I mean, it's basically like election administrator, tax assessor who has asked for increases, the sheriff's office, and let them know. So when do y'all want to do it? When I need to post a notice tomorrow, do y'all want to do it Tuesday, Monday? Sooner than that. Let me know so we can, I can probably Tuesday, I can notify them and have them here. Sooner than that. We can start at like 10 in the morning and bring them in every 30, 40, 30 minutes. Who we, we got to meet with? Or tax, we well, I, I mean, we can, I can, I, I mean, anybody wants to come can come, but I mean, it, is Reba going to come when she didn't even submit a budget and has no increase request? Well, I'm just saying the ones I mean, Amy had to be here, but I mean, would you come if you didn't have to be here because you had no request? The only ones that we, that's not getting what they requested is Sheriff, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean, if y'all want to talk to the tax assessor about what she's wanting to do in there, and have her justify it, then we, well, I'll invite her to come. If you want to talk to the election administrator and say, you know, can you not manage it with the three people you have? Why do you need another contract person? I mean, it's kind of obvious as why they need one during election yeah. time, but um, but that's I mean that's that would be in act. Of course, IT. I'm telling you, they're going to say, well, we can either start replacing. A certain number of computers every year and keep our system up or we let it shut down and have continue to have more problems uh, but that's basically it on the airport ones three part-time people I don't oh don't talk to them. well that yeah and then the airport of course they're funding their own um, so I mean we can bring Gary in it might, it might be a good thing for him to come in and experience this just you know uh, of course, they're protecting fuel cells are going to be up, so I think they're already up some over this time yeah. last year. So, we're, I mean, they're doing, uh, of course, doing pretty good. We just, I'd just like to get to a point where we could really do some work out there. I mean, it needs some tender, loving care. I mean, it's, it needs to be pressure washed and painted. Yeah, yeah, you know. I mean, and I've tried for 11 years I've been here to look at a way to, to expand the cafe, but we just haven't, had, you know, again, it's money. You it's all it is. You, you expand cafe, you have to hire more money. Oh yeah, yeah, but it's just money, and that's the thing. Yeah. And the problem is, we're we're packed now. We're booked now. If we expand it, is the demand is it going to is going is it, is it going to increase to cover that expansion? I don't know. Uh, but I mean, it, it could be. You know, there's like I said, it, it could be some stuff. Tuesday about nine forty one. We do it in the morning ten. Tuesday morning ten. Yeah, so we do it like at ten two in here. Yeah, I just figured it would take, we only got two or three departments and I figured it would take 30 minutes each. 
sheriff's office may take longer. Yeah, I mean, said that. I don't know how many people show up with them, and they may have to wind through here, but. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, so what are you thinking, Tuesday or Monday? Tuesday at 10. 10. Tuesday at 10. So yeah, we'll, just, we'll just schedule them 30 minutes apart. Uh, if one runs over, well, the others just have to wait. I, like I said, most of them won't take 15 minutes because it's, you know, tax assessor is going to say, well, you know, the equipment out there is, is, is getting old and <laughs> obsolete, can't ma maintain it. We need to replace it. We got to fix the drive-through window and then secure the front counters, and that's basically it. We can say, yeah, we can, we can do whatever we want. And then the, um, I mean, the election ministry, if you want to just say, yeah, we'll do it and not bring her in, I mean, a lot of these. I'm personally fine with, with all of those. I know what we'll have to meet with the sheriff. But. Well, I mean, you want me to just get to the sheriff and tip what? I'm just saying. Y'all talking Tuesday because I'm Monday. I'm gonna need Monday to get the. Oh no, get we got to yeah, yeah, yes. get this. Yeah, cause we Monday I gotta get this filed by five o'clock, four thirty. Yeah. So, yeah. so if you want to do it Tuesday morning at ten, we'll just schedule the sheriff's office for ten o'clock Tuesday morning. Anybody that's else? That's fine. The airport. You want to do the airport? Sheriff's office. Uh, I don't need the airport. I don't, You're I'm, not gonna give him his. You're not gonna his. Additional personnel. That's what he's asking. What does he have in his budget? He put it as a parenthetically. He didn't have an amount. You know, he just said three additional, three part-time employees. I don't have it. I don't have it in this numbers, no sir. But I mean, does he have the money in the? Is it in the airport? Does the airport have the funds to cover three part-time people? I'll have to see. Okay. Well, let's look at that. If they can only cover one, let's do. One. Yeah. Maybe if he's got funds in there to pay for yeah. one part time, we'll do one. I, I got an idea of what he wants to do. It's kind of similar to what I'm doing. Uh, is using part timers over full time. Well, that's what Randy did yeah. several years ago. And we he asked for three additional positions. Yeah. Yeah. Not not take uh, not take full timers and make part time. Yeah. He's wanting three additional part time, and I think that's to keep some of the overtime down from the full time. Mm -hmm. You know, bring some in a few hours or because some have to come in. I think maybe for prepping and stuff, getting them ready, and then the full time. Who is, it? is Gary now? I mean, is he the man? Or yeah. He's still in. He's still in. Yeah. yeah, I just kind of. I mean, he's still pretty new. I mean, for several years, but I just want to see how he handles his construction project and get that final finished up, and then we. Yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah. But I, I just want to. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good family. But he's uh he's done. Yeah, he's. I mean, he. Well, a lot of people don't really understand about that job, and I know you do. Some of the not out there as much as I am. That job is a sixty and seventy hour week. Oh yeah, yeah. It, well, except you know he's got Don well, right hand man out there. <laughs> oh, is it, oh, is man. it not? Oh, man. Is it not a sixty hour job? Sixty hour. Well, it is when there's a project going on out there. I mean, there. when there's a project going on, you got to stay on top of you it. Yeah. Watch what's you going on because yeah. you got a lot of questions. What's the consensus out there from the people who visit? I don't know if yeah. we're supposed to discuss it. Uh, with, with him running things. Oh, good. Good. Yeah. 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 I, I think the people like him. There hadn't been a lot of, there hadn't been any flag. No. I'm he, was, he was prepared for it. Yeah. yeah. I'm hearing good things from, from yeah. the people out there that have planes. That's all I've heard. Yeah. yeah. So. so we're going to adjourn or recess. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're gonna, we, we, we can't recess from now till Tuesday, but we're going to adjourn. Well, we can. And then I will post an agenda tomorrow for Tuesday at 10 o'clock, and I will notify the sheriff's office. And did did y'all want the airport here or no? Or you want us to look and see if he's got the funds for the part time? if he got funds. Because it doesn't come did, from funds. I know he had had questions about his fuel. Uh, from last year's budget. I'd let him come in and just visit him. Yeah, yeah it might be a good part of that. We'll put him first. We'll put him first. Yeah. 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 No, no, let's put him in second. That way we have reason to get the sheriff and them out of here. <laughs> if we put the sheriff say we may be here for three or four hours. Sorry, time's up. Yeah, you got, you know, you got so much time and we got to get on to the next department. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. So, yeah. And uh, he'd be disappointed. Besides, if they vote me out of office, I'm just going to go out and hang out with Don at the airport. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a drink coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't talk about everybody else. I also motion to adjourn. Second. All right, we've got a motion to second adjourn. All in favor of the motion to say aye. 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 Same sign. Thank you, guys. I'll get this five money. We'll see y'all Tuesday morning. And uh, move forward.
We wouldn't get you there. Well, guys, I gotta tell you, y'all work hard. <laughs>